Hello. Welcome to the stream. You know what I should start doing? I should start having a proper stream starting soon screen so I can just set that off earlier. But that would be that would be smart and require preparation. And yes, congratulations, uh, Chen, for betting correctly how late I would be. Four minutes. Very nicely done. I saw those bets being made and I'm like, I'm gonna beat those, and then I didn't. I didn't I didn't beat them. But it was the lowest estimation of the few that were made. Someone said 12 to 14 minutes. But welcome, welcome. Hello everyone and welcome to the stream. Tell me uh, if everything is looking good on your ends. Also in particular, tell me how I sound relative to the music. And uh, also the sound effects when they come along because that's important. I'm not sure if the, the audio balancing is correct. I did a little test run before I started, but getting into the game is always a little bit different, so... Please, if at any point anything is a little bit too loud or a little bit too quiet, please do say so and I can change it, no matter what point in the stream we are at. I would prefer it to be better, for at least some of it. But yeah, it is... It, it, you say it's hard to believe FTL has been around for almost seven years, but somehow it kind of feels like it's been around forever for me. Maybe it's because I was... Still relatively young, seven years ago. But yeah, it, it's like FTL's just, it's been... It's been around for a good long while, since well before I started my channel. And uh, it, it was kind of an on and off staple for a little bit. I, kinda, I had this rule of uh, play a game of FTL on my channel every year. Um, but I broke that two years ago, because two years ago is the last time that I, I streamed it, and I haven't done it since then. So, uh, it's been too long. But yeah, this is one of those games that, like, I call it a modern classic. I think this is one that people are going to come back to ten, ten years in the future. It's one of those kind of games. It's just excellently put together. Everything about it is very nice. So it's one of those that's going to stick around as like a well-known one into the into the future. I think it's gonna, like it, it's one I always want to go back to. And Rick, you say am I going to name the crew members after Baratron? And people know Rick. I'm going to name them after patrons, as is part of my Patreon rewards. I got it all set up and planned out. I know what I'm doing. I got a list. I randomized it. We already have the. Uh, like the, the list sorted for today's crew members, however many we may encounter. Got it covered. I'm getting a mix of feedback. People are saying audio balance is good, music's a tad quiet, audio is good, good, sounds good. I'll go with good because more people are saying good. Uh, but yes, Rick, this is a very good time to talk about the Patreon stuff. I mean, let me let me switch to the the game screen now. Not that there's much else going on on it yet. There I am. Hello. Now I can gesticulate. Also, there's a little ad now in the bottom here for their next game, which I don't have. Maybe I should try that, though it's not quite so much my kind of thing. So I'm less sure. Oh, this will open a link in your browser. Interesting. I guess it'll open the Steam page. Uh, but yes, this this game, this stream, was uh, voted for by patrons. I, I did a Patreon poll uh, about what old game, old staple of of, of uh, previous channel live streams I should play. A few different options. And the interesting thing was that there was a dead tie between FTL and KSP. So, I had a, a tiebreaker poll, and I was thinking, well, I mean, surely the same number of people will prefer the two, like, which... A particular one of the two games, so it's just going to end up being a tie again, or maybe it'll be slightly different and then one will win and I'll probably play the other one later. And then FTL won by a landslide. 
And I don't understand, because it's not like all the people who voted for the other games f flipped to FTL, because the poll was, you can vote for as many of the games as you like. So, that means th th that number of people, the equal an equal number of people, liked both games, and then when it came to the, the final vote, everyone voted FTL. So we're playing FTL now! <laughs> Your name didn't pop up on the Patreon supporters, Sebastian Reno? Are you sure? It should have. I like unless if you started supporting in the last month, then uh, I haven't updated that yet. I update that at the beginning of every month, and yes, I know it's the first, but like usually like between the third and the fifth, because that's when everything's died down from uh, Patreon charges happening. So yeah, if you pledged in the last month, you won't be on the list yet, but you will be on the list like next stream. So don't worry. Into the Breach is way more thinky tactic -y. Yeah, there's thinking and tactics in FTL, but it's a very different kind of game. Like, it's a strategy... It's a turn-based strategy, right? Into the Breach. Which I'm, I'm not opposed to, but it didn't kind of strike me as my kind of thing when I saw it. So I might, maybe I'll play it at some point, but there's nothing... I'm not hyped for it. Yeah, don't worry, Sebastian, your name will, will appear on if you're an Arrow Patreon supporter. Uh, soon. Very soon. And and hopefully I'll deliver all the rewards. I'm working on it. This is me delivering on the rewards on the on the, the game polls and also on getting your name in games, which is uh, a convenient result of people voting for this particular game is that I can put people's names in this one. Hello, Jonathan Rudy. Anyone else who's turning up? There's a lot of people saying hi. FTL, you could panic and still do well. Breach, not so much, I imagine. <laughs> but in 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 into the breach, it's turn-based, so you you won't panic. I mean, well, if you do panic in a turn-based game, you've really messed up. <laughs> but I don't know. FTL can go very wrong if you if you don't pay attention. But if you're like me and you basically spend most of the game paused, you'll do great. <laughs> and thank you very much to uh, Salmon Longo for that 5 euro super chat. Let's start the currency wars with a simple 5 euro dollars. Oh, hold on a minute. Where's the... Where's all the stuff? Hold on. There it is. Oh, not that one. There we go. Yeah, I, I don't know why, but for some reason the cup and the events thing weren't on the overlay. I don't know how that got messed up, but apparently it did. Whoops. Oh dear. Well, now it's there. Thank you very much, Salmon Longo, for those five euro dollars. <laughs> oh yeah, the music's fantastic. I love the music in FTL. I think FTL is the only game ever where I have actually bought the soundtrack. Because usually I don't care about game soundtrack, but FTL, I'm like, I, I need this in my life. I want this. You can rename Kerbonauts, but it's a, a much more fiddly process. And you're not guaranteed to, to have them turn up, whereas in FTL, there's a bit more control of it. So I think it probably works a little bit smoother for that. How long am I streaming? I don't know. Um, it's I think it's going to be... Like, it's probably going to be more than two hours. Two hours is usually the minimum, but FTL goes on for a little bit, and so I'm, I'm planning on playing it till I win or I die. Uh, however many streams that may take. So if I die, then we're done. If I die in like the first hour, I'll probably start again, but if I die at like... Three hours in, we'll finish it there. Otherwise, I'll probably go for like three to four hours, and then continue it in another stream later and see if I can finish it in a second one. But thank you very much, there's a cup explosion! Oh, and the sub went as well! My little, my little cog fell out the cup, but thank you very much Sebastian Moreno for those 25 DKK Danish currency boom! It definitely caused a boom. Thank you very much Sebastian Moreno. Okay, shall we get into choosing our ship? So, I have quite a few to choose from, but I don't have the whole collection yet. I'm still missing quite a few things. Here's my, my like, scores here, as you can see, what things I have and haven't unlocked. So please put your suggestions in for what, uh, <laughs> oh, I died in the first hour. Also me. Paused the game long enough to not die in the first hour. Possibly true, Rick. I paused the game a lot. I'm, I apologize in advance for people that don't like that, but that's how I play FTL. Like it's turn-based. So... It, that's, it's just... I'm, I'm sorry. 
Um, yeah, please suggest uh, what ship you would like to see me fly. These are the options. I have none of the Type Cs except the Kestrel. Type Bs, I've got most of them, but I'm missing Rock, Stealth, and Lanius. I've got all the Type As, but I don't have the Crystal Ship! It has evaded me for all this time. One day, one day I will have it. What I'm thinking for today's run is the Rock Cruiser, because I've never flown the Rock Cruiser. I think I unlocked it relatively recently, so uh, I'm still yet to actually try it. So that's currently the, the, the front runner. So uh, tell me if you like that, or if everyone really wants me to try something else, then I could I could go for something else. But thank you very much, uh, Mesa Machaka, for that five euro super chat. Please try into the breach. Thank you very much, uh, Mesa. And uh, okay, you're, you're persuading me. You're slowly persuading me. Maybe I will give it a shot. I could maybe do a video or something. Um, Rick, if you have the crystal ship at some point, you probably still have it. FTL's been very good at keeping hold of your um, your save information. Unless you've erased your save file, it's, you've probably still got it. It's one of those ones where you turn up after five years being like, Oh, I bet my save's gone. And you're like, oh no, everything I've done is still here. What have we got? Someone says Mantis, uh, Mantis B. Federation Cruiser. Feder two people on Federation Cruiser. I do like the artillery beam. That is fun. Oh, my youngest fan is here! Awesome! Oh, now I should have had face cam on. Oh, damn. I mean, I, I could. But also, eh. Might be worth it, though, to so that I can wave and, and have my youngest fan wave back. Last ship, first row. The Lanius. An option. I have played that before. I don't know if I've won, though. I guess I haven't. Yeah, I, I guess I've not made it with the Lanius Cruiser before. Uh, this stream VOD will go up when, when it's over, yes. I'm glad you're enjoying Volcanoids, Keithy. Number eight. Eight. Uh, this one. Oh, the Slug Cruiser. We did that. Uh, I say I'm, I keep think, wanting to say I did this recently, but I did this like two or three years ago. Most recent ones I played are, Lani uh, are the Slug and the Mantis, and I played the Lanius a little bit longer ago. And the NG one even longer ago than that. And I think all the other ones I've not done before on stream. The Rock Cruiser is the only one I've never flown on or off camera. So that's what I'm most hyped about. Thank you very much. Uh, take a big O for that five pound super chat. Hey, nice to see this game being played again. You should consider trying out Into the Breach. It's great. You should try to get the crystal ship. Yes, I need the crystal ship. I want it. I want it in my life. Damn it. I just, I just want the crystal ship. Because once I've unlocked that, it's easy to unlock everything else. But the crystal ship is the one thing where I've got to do this big, complicated mission to unlock the damn thing. But thank you very much, Ticket Big O, for that £5 super chat. Very much appreciated. Are you thinking lost your save when transferring PCs? Uh, if it's on your Steam account and you had, like, any cloud stuff on it, then you should have, it should have made it, made the jump. I've switched PCs a bunch of times since I first played. Everyone's voting for everything, really, but some people are like, yeah, go for rock. <laughs> so I'm probably going to stick with rock. Have the moths retreated from my territory? Yes, they have, Tim H. Um, there, was, there was an interesting event the other day on, on my Discord server when uh, I suddenly found that I was under attack by, uh, as I later found out, eight moths. There were eight moths in my room, and I didn't know about any of them until one of them went for my face, and I turned around to see four of them, and then the moth wars began dealt with those four and encountered another four and one of them escaped. I still don't know where it is. I never found it again. But there may still be a moth on the loose somewhere in my room. And I hate moths. So much. Rock because you need to get the crystal. I don't think you need the rock to get the crystal right. You can just get the crystal ship with anything. I could be wrong. Maybe you do need it. There's a vault for Zoltan. I was expecting more vaults for Zoltan. I was considering that, but I think I'll go with Rock. Enough people are like, yeah, go with the Rock. Let's let's give it a shot. Boop. This is the Rock Cruiser. I think it's it's pretty normal for what it's got. Just like one of everything in in the subsystems. Three in weapons, two engines, two shields. One oxygen, one maybe. Yeah, it's pretty standard. But then the wacky thing about it is that it's got nothing but missiles as its weapons. 
Also, it's got rock plating. Superior hull armor provides a 15% chance to negate incoming hull damage. Hit systems will still be damaged. That's nice, though. Avoiding hull damage. That saves money. I'm always on board with that. We get three rocks. Ken, Bars, and Kirby. I will be renaming those, of course. And our missions. Okay, is it warm in here? Have your crew kill a burning enemy on their ship while using the rock cruiser. So I have to teleport my guys to a ship. Have it be on fire. And then have my guy in the room with the person on fire and kill them. It's a little bit specific, but I could maybe try and do that if I go for a boarding setup. Defense drones don't do to anything. While using the rock cruiser to destroy an enemy ship which has a defense drone deployed using only missiles. So that one, I might just happen to do anyway. If I still carry on, if I keep using missiles all through the game. Then I can, uh... I could probably, I'll probably just get that randomly at some point in the game. I could even have other weapons, but cut them out and just use the missiles if I encounter anything that has a defense drone. Then Ancestry, find the secret sector with the rock cruiser. So that's finding the rock homeworld sector, I believe. Get the flamethrower. Are there flamethrowers in this? There are definitely things that start fires, but I don't know that there's flamethrowers per se. I think you just need a long, tedious questline, but you don't necessarily need the rock ship. Yeah, I think it's like the, the crystal ship is related to the rock, like the, the rock species, but I don't think you need the ship for it. Oh, and yeah, I like the design for this. It's a very interesting way this whole thing's set up. Very neat and ordered and a lot of doors. They really like their doors. I'm, I'm intrigued by this and this is going to be brilliant for venting the ship. I mean, look at this, like... I can basically use these, these central corridors to pick and choose which rooms I vent. The only times there's a problem and there's a conflict between two systems is the O2 and door rooms. Neither of those I would ever want to vent! This looks great to me! The med bay is a long way from the oxygen room and that always makes me panic because sometimes you end up trapped in the med bay dying of oxygen deprivation and you need to run to the oxygen room to fix it. It's also a smaller room so only two people could work on fixing the oxygen system at once if there was an emergency. So I definitely want to upgrade that at least once early on. So it's got a bit of durability. Oh, and also please suggest names for the ship, because I don't know what to do with that. I might just call it the Bulwark. If people have something else cool for it, then I'll totally go with that instead. Yeah, Sebastian Moreno, you need to... Um go into Patreon and link your Patreon to Discord. There'll be some setting in there somewhere. Um, one way to do it is if you just go to my page, there, I think there's a, when it says like, includes Discord rewards, you can probably click that to get the instructions on how to connect your uh, Patreon to your Discord. And then you'll be able to join the server. All Patreon supporters and uh, YouTube members can join my Discord server by integrating their accounts with Discord. Flame beam, that's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> beams are fun. I hope we'll get some beams in on this ship. Or just Vulcan cannons. If all else fails, Vulcan cannons. All of them. Two of them if possible. Endless Vulcan cannons. Don't the rock people not even need oxygen? Is that someone else? No, the rock people need to breathe. The rock people are fireproof. That's their thing. And they also have higher health and maybe are better at combat. Immune to fire, movement speed is halved, max health is increased 150. So normally health is 50, or 100 even, so they will survive longer in a combat as well as survive longer in just any harsh conditions, um, but they're slow, which makes a particular problem for if they're in the med bay and they've got to get to the oxygen room. It's a long way, we'll have to hope that that works out. Mothball, moth killer, flamethrower, I'm liking these. Rocky McRockface, we've done Shippy McShipface before. So we're, we'll retire that joke for ship naming now, but you can go back somewhere on my channel and find the Shippy McShipface run back in the day. The Fulcrum. Do you mean Fulcrum? I don't even know. HMS Indestructible 2. <laughs> nice. You've never beaten the last ship, Keithy? Well, today you're gonna get a masterclass on how to do that. Maybe, depending on if I win, I might not. But I'm usually pretty good at surviving, because I play on easy mode and pause constantly. Uh, 
I might call it the mothball. Something about mothball I, I find funny. I want a semi-serious name, I, I think. I don't want Pork Mangler. You gotta remember, this stuff goes on my, my like, leaderboard. It's gonna be there forever. But also, while you carry on suggesting names like Titanic 2, and the Blarney, as in the stone. <laughs> oh dear. I will name the crew, and I've already got this prepared. So, I wanna, also I, I think I can pick the colour. Are there some wackier colours? It'd help if they're very distinct, so I can tell who's who at a glance. Here we go. This one will be Patreon supporter Feather Blade. Phew, it fits. Okay, there's, yeah, there's a, a few characters spare there. That is Feather Blade. Thank you very much. For being a patron supporter, Featherblade. Where's my mouse gone? I've lost my mouse. There it is. No, it's not. Is this borked? Oh, it's because I'm in this mode. There we go. I had to hit enter for my mouse to come back. Featherblade. Next one. Let's have this be like blue, maybe? Or like we'll go for a light colour to contrast. There we go. And this one will be patron supporter. Mark. This this might not manage it. Wit ting oh, wit ting turn Oh no one letter short Ah oh. Sorry Mark Whittington, I'm removing one of the T's in your name. I could make it a single word, but that might not come out right. I could uh, I might try that. Let's try this. Like if I do that It becomes Mark Wi. We could potentially go with that. Alright, what are people suggesting? <laughs> We've got a lot of names. Mothrock! I like Mothrock. Mothra. Leaderboard appropriate ship name. Probably a bit too long. Unbeatable 2. Unbreakable. Reaper. The Vomit Comet. The obvious name for rock ship is Asteroid. I am on board with this unknown username. I like that idea. Snapdragon, the boulder, HMS Rock Rocks, Cannonball, Avalanche, HMS Reaper, Golem. I think I might go with Asteroid. <laughs> I like that. It's like I, I once had the stealth cruiser and I called it an, an empty patch of space because it cloaks. I kind of like that one. So I think I'm going to go with Asteroid. Here we go. Uh, and our third crew member could be like a very classic clay-like rock colour. And this one will be Daniel. Another patron supporter, thank you very much. There we go. I have managed to successfully use three patron names. Only many, many to go. We'll work on it. Maybe we'll play some, uh, some RimWorld soon so I can just start burning through the names. Though, of course, any more crew members we encounter, I will also change their names to uh, Patreon supporters. So we may get through more than three today. Okay, yeah, I think people like Asteroid. Yeah, everyone's in favor. Okay, good. We got it. We did it. Okay. I am ready to go. We have our, we have our missions. Do the thing, and there's our, our uh, achievements. I'm doing easy mode because I want to get to the end, and also, if I encounter the rock, sh the the crystal ship missions, then I need to be in easy mode so I don't die halfway through because I will never, I will never be happy. Uh, it's like I've got this rule of like I'm never playing anything above easy mode <laughs> until I've unlocked the crystal cruiser because I'm not really able to live it down if I get the Crystal Cruiser missions and die halfway through trying to complete them. And also, it means that you'll get more FTL from me because I'll probably actually get to the end. Though it's still not guaranteed. Sometimes uh, FTL can still, uh, can still wreck you. I'm not, I'm not doing hard mode. No, I will so die. 
I'm glad you managed to connect to Discord, Sebastian Moreno. Enjoy the server. Okay. Just checking all things. You have, nope. have you appeared? I think you've appeared. There you are. There we go. I said welcome. Okay. I had to do that. We've been going 25 minutes. I think we're good to go. Let's start the game. You need luck 10 to get the crystal ship. Yeah, exactly. It's it's a pain. Okay, here we go. With the good ship Asteroid. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip. Drones. If you're struggling against enemy drones, target the drone system to temporarily disable them. And here we are. In our little ship. Okay, we should work out what's what and who's who. Uh, no one has any particular skills, so we'll just put them wherever we feel like we should put them. Oh, hey. Ah, middle mouse button pauses. Except not reliably, because my middle mouse button is breaking and doesn't always register the click. Space also pauses, so I'll probably just go with that. Frag spent 300 hours trying to get the quest and didn't get it, so now he just unlocks it manually. Oh, no. Take so long it's fair to cheat and lock it by a save editor. Nah, I want to do it properly! The only thing is that there was one time I think where I actually got the quest, but then I think I died halfway through, or... Oh, I got the quest, but the place I needed to go didn't exist, because it's like you have to pick up, um... So you have to go to an asteroid belt, you have to pick up a pod, then you have to go to a Zoltan, si a Zoltan sector, do the Zoltan science inspection mission, and then they'll tell you, hang on, this is a special thing. And then you go to the rock homeworld and go to a certain place and you find the hidden crystal sector or something like that. But I got the pod and there were no Zoltan worlds left on the map. It was already, I'd gone past them all already. So I literally couldn't complete it. It was the worst. So yeah, it just, it taunts you. It taunts you with its ridiculously hard to getness. Welcome, Ian Stenhouse. Glad you managed to make it to the stream. Some tip for when you're getting bored of enemies always go towards the nearest pocket of oxygen, so if you vent every room with the med bay and put all your crew in there, you can fight them there. Yeah, don't worry, I, I got this covered, Faley. I know what I'm doing. I'm, I've, I've got all that, that venting experience. I do notice they've actually changed some of the buttons. Like, even after all this time, they've made more... Like, I, I played two years ago and it didn't have these icons. They've changed the game still. They're still updating it. Why? How? I don't even understand. Okay, we have 30 scrap to start with. That's not much to be getting on with. We can't really do anything with it. I mean, there are things we can afford, but I don't like to spend that soon. I don't think it'll get us anything important. We could upgrade the oxygen system. That would be a good start, but I, I like to save up first. Another strategy I have that I kind of shoot myself in the foot with, but it can pay off later. Okay, so we can power up the weapons. Hull missile. Uh, two times damage on systemless rooms, and then the Artemis. Normal damage is two. Yeah, they both do two, but this one can do four if you hit the right spots. Puzzle effect, breach, fire, stun. Same for both there. Okay, I'm also going to flip hull missile to that one, because then if we lose one point of weapons, we'll still have the hull missile active, we'll just lose the Artemis. Okay. Oh, what's the charge times? Uh... Oh, it doesn't say. That's annoying. I would like to know what the charge times are. <laughs> also, this is the thing. It, like, there are a lot of games where middle mouse doesn't do anything, and so I just habitually click middle mouse, but now it does something in this game, and that's going to that's gonna cause serious problems for me. I'm just going to be randomly pausing and unpausing as I keep hitting the button. Oh, dear. Uh, let's shut down med bay, put more in the, uh, the engines, because that's probably fine right now. Okay, just remembering all the things. Let's jump, let's do the thing. There's a distress beacon there, but I'm going to go to uh, Nebulas, because Nebulas is the best. Actually, I might hop to the distress first. Yeah, we'll go there first. Here we go. You have encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Its distress beacon is active, but you're not sure anyone is on board. Hail them. 
As you hail the refugee ship, a Zoltan ship jun suddenly jumps into the system. It claims the refugees are criminals and accuses you of escorting fugitives. Before you can respond, it cuts communications and powers up its weapons. This is the time, by the way. Everyone listen carefully. Tell me how the sound balance is. Does anything need to be raised or lowered when we come to combat uh, stuff? Right, what do we got? We've got ion, we've got lasers. So they're going to knock out our shields and hit us with things. Uh, their shields are crap. And they don't even seem to have a Zoltan shield active. I think just go for their weapons and have done with it. Okay. Targeting weapons. Easy enough. And yeah, I think I'm going to keep all these people in their current locations. I might move one of them to shields. Just so we have better coverage of the entire thing. Yep, there we go. They've knocked out our shields immediately. But we've just knocked out their entire weapon systems. So let's swap to knocking out their shields next. There we go, they now have no shields either. Nice. And I think this is them de dead. Yep, there we go. Nice simple start. The Zoltan ship breaks apart and you salvage what you can. Two fuel, two missiles, 25 scrap. Contact the refugee ship. The refugee ship thanks you for your assistance as a gesture of goodwill and seeing how, you eff how effectively you dispatch the enemy ship. They offer up what supplies they can spare. Three fuel, one drone, 11 scrap. Okay, nice. Now the thing we've got to worry about here is our missile supply, because currently we need those to live. So we're going to have to make sure to keep very well stocked on those and try and get alternate weapon systems as soon as possible. Uh, I'm going to go straight to the nebula now. Everyone says the sound is good. Awesome. A heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula at this beacon. Before you have time to contact them, they fade into the nebula. Um, I'm going to attempt to follow and help them, because that's more interesting than just letting them go. Your search is hopeless, your senses can't pick up anything in the nebula. Very well. Here we are. Yeah, I'm... I think... Uh, I don't... I don't want to... I would like to have a guy on weapons, but at the same time... I need a guy closer to the oxygen room. I could forget about engines? Like, right now, or evasion is 20%. A decent chunk of that is our extra dude. I think that gives 10% faster charge time. Wait, can we have the door system manned? Or is that just... I might be m misunderstanding what that symbol is. Can we put an extra point in that? Why is it... Yeah, the doors can be manned. That's weird. I feel like that was a change that happened relatively recently, and by recently I say two years ago. Oh, good point. Yeah, the, the, I don't need to target shields because I have missiles. They'll just go through the shields anyway. Yeah, I just automatically did the usual thing that I would, I would do. I should have, yeah, gone for an empty room after I'd taken out the weapon systems. I'm going to go for, for putting this guy in the shield room. And the next... Oh, they, there I go. The next guy that we get can be the weapons guy. We'll see if we can get one sooner rather than later. On we go. Oh, uh-oh. You arrive in the middle of a plasma storm. Despite the harsh conditions, a rebel scout seems to be waiting for you. Okay, what are we dealing with here? Engine system must be functioning in order to jump. And it's not... Ah, yeah, because our, uh, we've got no power in anything. I'm going to put a point in engines so we can dodge. They have one missile. Uh, okay, we'll target their hull with that, and the Artemis can target the weapons. That's the smart thing to do. And yeah, they've got shields, even though shields are irrelevant against us. And yeah, our guys don't need to breathe. It's fine. Oh, there goes the med bay. Okay, we've knocked out their weapon systems. And boom, four damage. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL. It's trying to escape. I'm going to be smart about this. They've only got four hull left. They've got less than four hull left. One hull missile will take them out, so I'm going to disable the Artemis. Or at least untarget it. Which I think I can do. Hull missile, target there. Also, I realise auto fire should be switched on. But yeah, hold the Artemis for now, because we can't do anything till we deliver a hull missile anyway. And if we can, we take the whole thing out. Come on. This thing's charge is slow. 
Ah, oh, they got away. Yeah, I couldn't have stopped him. The only way I could have stopped him is if I hadn't moved my rock guy out of the weapons room. Oops. Uh, let me let me put some uh, some oxygen back into the system here. It's fine. Would a true rock even try to dodge, though? <laughs> Manning a subsystem upgrades it by one point, but is that the case for any subsystems now? Okay. Yeah, they did They did change that, didn't they? Okay. Once you get another person to man the doors. No, the, the next guy I get, I'm going to man the weapons with. I'm, I want These are the four key ones to man. And then you put someone on the doors next. Oh, I should also... Uh, this guy can go repair the med bay, even though it's a bit of a distance away. I, I guess I could have shot their engines with the Artemis, yeah. Damn it, you're right. Could have done that. I'm rusty. I've forgotten my old tricks. Always knock out their, we their, their engines as soon as you can. I was trying to be smart and save on missiles. Thinking about missiles. I don't like using them because I hate using up a finite resource. Alright, let's jump. So I'm going to disable the whole missiles and activate the shields because they'll take a second to charge and the weapons always start uncharged. So, off we go. You see a small station nearby and feel the shudder of shots ring ringing through your ship. You can't be sure without sensors, but it seems there may be intruders on the ship. Intruders on board. Okay, here we go. Where the hell are they? We can't see them because we're in a nebula. All right. I guess we start patrolling. Let's just start looking for them. Oh, there they are. They appeared in the, in the sensor room. Okay, let us begin the venting. So we'll keep that door shut for a second. Oh, they can get straight through them though, can't they? No, they can't get straight through. Okay, uh, you carry on moving up here. Oh, they're making for the oxygen room. Oh, they, they will hang around... I'm going to block that. Yeah, they can't. Venting doesn't work because we've got basic doors. I shouldn't have done that. All right. Open all internal doors. Equalize the pressure. Let's just send the troops in. Let's wait till everyone's in one place. And then boom. Go, go, go. Charge. I think it's just the two of them. Yeah. And just because we're rocks and they're humans, we will win this fight. I would have moved the crew to doors, but they were already, like, in that area anyway, so they just quickly break through and cause trouble. Oh, you go repair. You know what I didn't do? I didn't save everyone's positions on the ship, and I've immediately forgotten whose role is whose, so I don't know what is happening with what people now. Oh, let's put power in that, and everything else for that matter. Oh, we need that for a second. Okay, what are you? Uh, repairs is all you are, so I think you're shields. You are combat only, apparently. Yeah, no one has any skills yet. It doesn't actually matter where I send people. They've not leveled up in anything. Uh, Featherblade, you can be pilot, and Mark can be engines, and let's start actually remembering who's who. Daniel's in shields. I'm getting positions, seal all doors, and save crew positions. And then we've got that for next time. Thank you very much, Deathheart six 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 Black, for that two dollars super chat. Very much appreciated. And welcome to the stream. Okay, let us continue. Rebels are on their way, but they'll be a while yet. I've got my plan of action. I'm gonna hop back over this way. A rebel ship is guarding this beacon. You order, you order a pursuit course and prepare to scratch up one more. Okay, we got beam and pulse. Oh, that's a painful combination. They'll take out the shields with the pulse and then the beam will cause horrible pain. Um, so this is a knock out the weapon situation. We'll target an empty room with the whole missile. Oh, and uh, extra evasion. Oh, this is going to be painful. There it is! Okay, engine damage. 
Not too terrible. Knocked out their weapons entirely. Good news. And hull missile. Nice. Powering up the FTL. Okay, this time we'll be smart. We'll target their engines. As you know, we'll target their helm. I believe that's more effective, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think if you knock out the helm, it's more likely to disable their ability to travel. Whereas the engines, you might only partially damage them. And they'll still be going. Aha! Take everything we have and let's both forget this happened. We will not accept surrender. Okay, let's remember this. Three fuel, six missiles, fourteen scrap. Let's see if we do better. And we only need to fire one more thing. Let's make it the Artemis. Let's disable the whole missile. Doesn't make any difference, but I'm targeting there anyway. Destroyed! We're going evil! Okay, so the fuel stayed the same, the six missiles became one drone part, and we got nine more scrap. Okay, it wasn't a fantastic detail, a deal, maybe I should have just taken the one they offered. I don't- that wasn't- I don't think that was economically viable. <laughs> There's a lot of missiles I gave up on. Oops. It's fine, we can buy some with the scrap we just got, right? It'll be fine. Is it one health goodness wise? Yes, they are, even though we took a hit to the engines. I guess it didn't hit the tile that he was done in. Okay, we're gonna keep it moving. Right, the rebels are making good time now. Everyone's like, you shouldn't have killed them. You should have just done the thing. You come across a rebel automated scout ship pursuing a civilian ship. Weapons engaged. Aid the civilian ship. Power your weapons engage the automated ship. Continue. Oh, it's got a drone. Fancy. All right. And it also has a missile. It's a beam drone, so as long as they don't take out our shields, we are fine. It, we can't be hurt. I'm going to target their weapon systems. And... That doesn't really matter. I, I guess, yeah, I just will treat this like a normal missile because that's all it essentially is. There we go. Let's knock out the missile thing just because that can hurt us. And then we'll knock out the piloting and then it can't dodge. Oh, here it comes. Oh, it hit the shields! Wait, what? <laughs> the... That timing, though. I was just like, oh no, the drone's going to get us. And in that instant... Our missile hit their drone! Amazing! What a shot! Okay, uh, right, targeting. Who am I firing at? I, it's the same situation as before, essentially. Uh, actually, no, I'm gonna retarget the whole missile to their weapon, swap the Artemis to their helm. Oh, they're firing again. Oh, that was our weapon systems! Okay, we only have the whole missile now. That's not good. We should probably swap that out for the Artemis, because it's quicker. Like, straight up, it's just a better weapon in this situation. Okay, well, their weapon systems are down now. We just need to sort out their... Oh, no, their drone's back, and we're not ready for that yet. Wait, no, we're about to be. Oh, but just in time for him to do more damage to us. Okay, this is... We're, we're fine. The shields are going to come back up, and then we're safe. Uh, and we need you to get over there and fix the weapon systems. Okay, we've knocked out the navigation. They now can't dodge us. Well, I know there's no point in shields. We'll go with uh, drone control. And then one last shot on their engines as if it matters what we're hitting. Weapon systems back online. You get to the med bay because you are a little bit injured. Oh, no. Wrong buttons. There we go. The ship breaks apart, you hasten to contact the civilian ship. One fuel, one missile, 14 scrap. Contact the civilian ship. Apparently, the ship that was being assaulted was a science vessel that thank you for saving them and offer a small reward. Two missiles, one drone, 18 scrap. We are amassing a great collection of scrap. I'm very happy about this. Let's all salute that Artemis. Yeah, that was some damn good work by the Artemis there. Uh, let's actually power the med bay. That would help. Hold missile back online. You get back to the shields. Actually, go to the uh, the sensor room, get that repaired first. I'm basically, I'm picking this guy as the repair guy. I'm just going to train him up in repairing so that we have one specialist for emergency uh, repairing situations. Not great to have a rock as a repairing guy, but we only have rocks right now, so 
So be it. And off you go. We can we can hit the button. And everyone twitches as they <laughs> return to their positions. Are ready to go. And yeah, I am just currently saving up scrap. I'm probably are there any shops nearby? There is, but it's kind of in the wrong direction. I want to go over there. I I like to go in every nebula I can because it slows down the rebels. If we go that way, I don't think we'll have time to swing around and go to the nebula before they get us. But I want to go to the store, so we'll go to the store. <laughs> There is only one other ship at this beacon and it is showing heavy damage. You receive a message on your console. Greetings, traveller. We were crippled by a band of pirates and are now forced to sell our remaining valuable equipment to acquire the necessary supplies to get home. Okay, so we've got all the, the fancy uh, systems. Some cool looking weapons. And uh, some a, a not very large amount of, of uh, supplies of key other things. Okay. Uh, I'm probably going to go with a fix-all straight off the bat. We could get a hacking crew teleporter or drone control system. Crew teleporter would help us to get that achievement, and then we can unlock the Rock Cruiser Mark II. Definitely want to try and do that if I can. Hacking is also fun. I definitely prefer hacking as, as a way of defeating enemies. over crew teleporter, but I probably will go with that because I want to do the thing. We might hold off on that and get a weapon first, so we have something that isn't using missiles that we're rapidly using up our supply of, not helped by me passing up on an offer of six missiles. Required power two, charge time 14 seconds, damage to room hit one, two times damage on systemless rooms. Breach 1 Mark 2, required power 2, charge time 17 seconds, uh, breach chance high, crew damage 45, system damage 3, nice, good way to just wreck a particular room and everyone in it, definitely helpful for uh, boarding actions, so you also wreck the, I guess they'll abandon the room because it's, it's vented, and you can then ambush them, that kind of thing, chain burst laser, this dual shot laser decreases in cooldown, the more it fires, after three volleys it only takes seven seconds to charge. Yeah, these are neat. So it takes 16 seconds to get going, but then every seven seconds is a pretty reasonable fire rate. Two charge, one damage. It's reliable, and it doesn't use missiles. That's the thing, the breach uses missiles still, it doesn't really help us get away from our dependency. Killing all crew gives more scrap, that is true, it's, it's more risk, more reward. So, I might just go for that. The only thing is, I can't get the Breach and the Crew Teleporter unless I sell uh, one of these, which would be a very risky move. Maybe the Rock Plating. Okay, I'll pass upon the Breach because it still requires missiles and, and doesn't help us massively. I'd like the Chain Laser, but I think we're going to go with the tr Crew Teleporter. We'll just get straight on with that. I never get an event that's like, oh, you could have repaired but you're full HP. I get those from time to time, but I still feel like I should probably repair. I, I guess I, I'm pretty, I'm doing pretty well for Hull so far. I'll get another chance to go to a store before all said and done. Okay, crew teleporter, we're buying it. Uh, then, buying all the fuel and what missiles we can afford. And then, yeah. I'll get like a fix and we get st we've still got five points we can do and we've got no no scrap left which means it's hard to operate the teleporter we can technically do it if we do that use up some of our evasion which will get even worse when we send our uh, our boarding party uh, unfortunately it's only a, a, a smaller room so we can only send a boarding party of two which is risky okay Let's go, because we've spent everything. There's nothing else we can do at this point. Uh, I could still try and just gun for the uh, the nebula. I don't know if it's worth it. It's actually a very risky move because once we we go over here, we've got to go here and then here and then here and then exit. 
gives them time to go there, there, there. I think technically it works. I think we would get there just in time. Let's try for it. I like nebulas, okay? You jump into an unremarkable system and a life science detected within scanning range. Welp, moving on. Distress signal. Oh, I could go there. Again, kind of risky though, because then... Go there, go there, and then I have to leave. Or I go here, and then I can't get to the exit straight away. Damn it, I don't think it's, it's safe. I'm going to push my luck. Here we go. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have been legally mining the belt without proper equipment. Uh, I'm going to try and dislodge the ship by shooting at the rocks. Let's be nice. Whoops. You take a few careful shots, but you expose a mineral patch in the rock that reacts violently with your weapon. The shockwave forces you back as debris pelts against your hull. When you regain control, you find there is not much left of the skip of the ship. 13 scrap, 2 damage to my hull. Whoops. Oh, well, I got some scrap. Oh, and the, hull got, uh, the helm got taken out. Alright, I'll let him fix that. And yeah, I can't really afford anything. Yeah, apart from like an extra point of engines with the scrap I have. Okay. On we go. Yeah, I might have messed this up. Here we go! You receive a request. All of our military ships have been destroyed or damaged during the rebellion. However, there have been reports of Mantis War Camp only a few jumps from us. Can you help? Oh. I'll pledge to do what I can and then probably not follow through. Thank you. If you could just give us a count on their numbers, perhaps we can get the rebels to help. Add a quest marker to the next sector. Okay, next sector. We can do that. And 27 scrap. Nice. I might buy something with that. Are there any stores nearby? Yeah, the rebels are going to get there before we do. It's fine. We'll get a good fight. Good old scrap. Okay, I might get some more power. What's the recharge time on this? 20 seconds. That's not too, too terrible. Still might get our guys killed, though. I'll leave that for now because I need more power right now I'm starting to stretch things a little bit I mean it's not massively but uh, maybe I should go for something else first extra oxygen is important but I can't power it unless I have power let's get some more power On we jump! You jump into the middle of a plasma storm. Multiple recently incapacitated ships loom in the shadows, briefly illuminated by the lightning. Uh, oh, this is gonna go wrong. Manually search the wreckage for survivors and equipment! Oh, nice! Most of the debris is hardly even usable as scrap, however, you eventually find an intact weapon that can be mounted on your ship. 25 scrap and breach missiles. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. This is a good situation. Let me check out this weapon. Required power 3, charge time 22 seconds. Normal damage 4, shield piercing 5, which is normal. Uh, high chance of breach. Okay. So it does as much damage as a hull missile but on any room and breaches it, but it requires more power, so it probably won't use it straight away. But it would be good for knocking out crew before boarding. So we can keep that in our back pocket as, a, as an option. Uh, we've got a bit more scrap to work with. I think I might upgrade engines, because we'll need them to uh, to get out of dodge quick when we turn up in the um, in in the rebel-owned sector that's about to happen. Okay, point of evasion, and yeah, another point of power to make sure we cover that. Oh, look how messed up we are when we're in. <laughs> Nebula. There we go. Yep, so we're gonna jump there and then they'll get to there when we get to the exit. You stumble across a forward scout of the rebel fleet. They're powering up their FTL! If they can't away, they will no doubt warn the fleet to your position. Oh no, that's gonna... Actually, it doesn't make any difference, does it? Then <laughs> Either way, they're gonna occupy the space I'm occupying in a minute. 
I don't want to board if they're trying to jump away, because they could jump away with my crew on board, and that would be very bad. So we're going to knock out Helm, and then I'll go for... I'll go for an empty room. That's a risky, risky strategy. Oh, so crank up the dodging. Seems like a plan. Uh, what a, you know what? I'm gonna just abandon the shield room because they can't really get through our shields, I think. Get this guy on weapons. I need a fourth guy. Okay, Helm's out. Retarget two engines. And we should kill him pretty quick. As it stands. Right, one more Artemis and that should end it. Sorted! This has been really accurate so far, right? <laughs> like... Damn. I guess it's because they don't have high evasion in, in the early game. Their ship breaks apart and you are relieved to know that you are still one step ahead of the fleet. Three fuel, one drone part, 23 scrap. Continue. We're not getting any more missiles. <laughs> I really should have taken those six missiles that were offered before. I need some non-missile weaponry and I need it soon. And yeah, so it's going to be re rebel controlled when we, uh, when we get there. Such is life. I've made mistakes. We'll get this guy back on shields. Because surviving the rebels is the key thing. We probably just want to survive them and then leave. We could do more upgrades. I think I'll leave it for now. Let's just see what we, we end up dealing with. Yep, totally ahead of the fleet. You found the exit beacon, but the rebels got here first. You must survive long enough to be able to jump to the next sector. Okay, what have they got? They've got a little laser thing and, and a... Is that a breach missile or a... That's some kind of painful looking missile. What I'm thinking is I just fire a missile at their weapons and that's all I do. And just spend the rest of the time trying to FTL out of here. We'll not try and knock them out because it won't give as much. Oh, they're teleporting on board. Well then, hi there. What's he going for? Alright. You're gonna fight me in my own med bay. Sure. Oh. Boom, weapons knocked out. They can no longer uh, hurt us. I'm just gonna I'm just power that down and power the med bay because I'm not even using the teleporter. Uh, should I fire the Artemis again? No, we'll hold it. Wait, how do I, like, cancel... Cancel auto-fire. There we go. Right, Artemis is fully charged and ready to fire if we need it, but right now we don't. Uh, you guys get back to your stations. They should be working on repairing it, so... As soon as they do, we knock it out again. If we need to. It looks like we'll get away. Alright, ready to go. Jump! Next sector! Uncharted Nebula or Mantis Controlled? Well, you know what I think about Nebulas. I think we're probably gonna go for that. <laughs> and well, yeah, we just pick a... We have to pick a side right now. This is... We have to make this choice immediately. Execute the rebel scum for interfering with Federation business, Bentham. Jeez. <laughs> Nebula. We'll do it. I'm sure this won't go wrong at all. Though it's not like Mantis controlled is much better. You've entered the sector thick with Nebulas. You'll have to navigate on instinct. Okay. Oh, there's the quest. Outside of the... Really? I've got to go to the exit and then onto the quest and then back to the exit. That's such a waste of jumps. But also it's a quest so it'll probably go well for me. Ugh. Ugh. Alright. Let's bounce around in the starting area for a while. There's nothing here save for vast tw swirls of gas reflecting rays from a distant sun. Well, that was boring. Onwards! A Mantis ship lost in the storm hails you. Sensors are out. We have no local telemetry. We have no local telemetry. We will take yours. You detect a power increase in their weapon systems. There was not that I was expecting that sentence to go, even with the uh, combat music going. 
All right, what are we dealing with? We've got a uh, missile and laser. Painful combination for us to deal with. We'll target their weapons. The Mantis, so we won't try and board them. <laughs> that would be a bad thing. Wouldn't wouldn't go well for us. And then hull missile on empty room there. Oh, here it goes. Miss, nice. Meanwhile, we've done a decent number on their weapons there. And again, and then one last shot with the Artemis, and we're done. Oh, I turned off auto, I forgot. Auto fire! Boop. Easy. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Three fuel, one drone, 25 scrap. I had the comments. Mantis or Nebula? FTL? Yes! <laughs> Indeed. Okay, uh... Let's just keep it moving. Might wander over that way a bit. I will go this way. Now I have their telemetry. You cycle through wideband comm channels as soon as you arrive. Nothing but static. Okay. I guess, yeah, nebulas are a bit more uneventful, but then when the events do happen, they're particularly interesting. Your ship emerges quite far away from the beacon. You see a rebel ship waiting nearby on Daddily Station to look for you. Attack the ship! I don't want to hide. Hiding's boring. Hang on a minute. These guys can't hurt me. They have only beam weapons. What? Alright. I guess I can take my time. I'll hold missile their, uh... An empty compartment, because that's the more effective way of, of hurting them. Actually, it might be even more effective to do this. I mean, it, it still does four damage, but I can do it on a system. Yeah, let's do that. Switch to breach missile. Breach missile, target their... Shield room? Oxygen? No, shield room. I think that'll work. You need to just forget about the other stuff. We don't need it. Just the make our missiles as effective as possible no matter how long it takes because they can't hurt us. And then I might teleport on board and fight them because it'll be fun. Let us go get our guys. Who's good at combat? These two. This will work then. I mean, they're not good at combat enough for it to actually make a difference, but they're in training, so they'll be in more training. There we go, that breached it. So they're now going to be in a world of pain. I'm going to turn off auto fire, just let the breach recharge, and I'm going to send these guys over. Uh, we don't need a med bay. We'll give them a second just to deal with it. Okay, and then... Uh, where to send them? Like, it, it doesn't matter, does it? I'll probably go to this side, because then I've got a few rooms to choose from, rather than just, like... Oh no, I can go around a couple rooms over here too. Let's go in their oxygen room. Boop. Oh, they're coming in. Hi there. Oh good, excellent. One of them was already in the shield room, so they're in a bit of a a bit of pain. Okay. There might only be two crew members. No, there are more. Did we just fire again? Uh-oh. I didn't mean to do that! Oh no, now they're trying to escape! Balls! I thought I'd turn auto-fire off, but it must have still held on to the targeting. Oops. This thing's there very close to death, and they're trying to leave. Everything's gone very wrong very quickly. I could just teleport them back when the, when the ion's down. Hold on, where are they? Are you in here? No. Okay, I'm just gonna go search the ship. Go, go, go. There he is. Just kill him. Kill him. Doesn't matter about the void. Just kill him. Chase him. Chase him down. Get the hell out of there. Phew. We caught... We got him. We did it. We did the thing. There are no more lifetimes, life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it of useful materials. One missile. One drone. 21 scrap. Oh, God. That wasn't enough. That was not enough. 
Okay, teleport them back. <laughs> Get in the med bay. Went slightly wrong there. I nearly killed my own crew and I wasted a missile. I just made everything so much worse. At least the missile injured the guy that was in that room, which helped us to then kill him, but we probably could have done that without nearly dying ourselves. Okay, everyone back to your positions. And yes, I remember to teleport them back before leaving. Oh dear. I know what I'm doing. I'm an experienced FTL player. I'm the best. Okay, let's flip back to these two. Uh, oh, we're never going to know if there's a store nearby. I might do with some more upgrading, because we could maybe do with it. I'm definitely tempted by the crew teleporter, because losing our crew is death. Shortening that cooldown, definitely in favour. Ties up more of our power, but we could probably handle it. I'm also tempted by more weapons, just so I could have, like, Breach and Artemis going. Because the Breach is just as good as a whole missile, but has more things it can do. It takes longer to charge, though, I think. Yeah, it does. The, the bar is quite a bit bigger, so it's not that worth it, then. I'm definitely... I need to do shields at some point. That's a bigger investment, though. I can afford it, but... It cost everything. I'm gonna upgrade the teleporter because crew dying is is game over. We can take a couple of hits to the hull because our shields have failed without everything going completely wrong. He says. I know I've just doomed myself, but it's fine. There. More teleporter power. On we go. You arrive in the middle of a plasma storm, despite the harsh conditions the Rebel Scout seems to be waiting for you. Okay, they've got a fire beam. Alright. And missiles. Okay, we just need to knock out their weapon systems and then we're safe. Uh, oh, we've got power flu- uh, not fluctuations, we've got power issues. We've got problems with the power. Okay. Hmm. I feel this is another boarding situation. So if we go for the breach again, wreck the shield room again, just do the same thing. It worked well enough last time. I just need to not accidentally nearly blow up my own guys. The problem is we've got to power down everything. Now we can't run it. We can't run the strategy. We can't run the missiles and the teleporter at the same time. We'd have to power down the weapons, put it into the teleporter. That'll leave us in a very risky spot. Admittedly, they're in a risky spot too. They must have half this. I mean, they don't have shields right now. I'm not dropping my shields because they have a beam weapon. That would kill me. That would give them free reign to annihilate my face. Yeah, maybe I just use the Artemis. I, like, I scrapped the breach strategy. Just take the Artemis and hit their weapons with it. I need to knock them out and then I'm safe. As long as the shields stay up, their beam guy can't do anything. Okay, they're missiling us, so let me just uh, redistribute power to the... Evasion systems! Oh, why? Why? Oh, no. Okay, right, so... We'll keep dodging, for what it's worth. I guess I can put oxygen back on. Take out that bloody missile system! Uh, we need help in there. Get in there. Fire! Oh no! Vent it! Vent it all! Of course it's a fire beam! This is gonna cause us all sorts of trouble! Okay, uh, right. Reactivate shields. Nobody needs oxygen anyway. Uh, their weapons are down. However, our guys are injured. Get them over there. We can vent the whole ship if we bloody need to, to stop the fire.
I'm just gonna vent the central corridor that seems to be what's in trouble. Uh, give us a second with power to the med bay. Okay, they're ready to go. Move them into the teleporter. Oh, they fired the missile. Oh no. It's gonna hit something, and then we're gonna be in a world of pain. I was, I was too busy working on this situation. I could have fired another missile to knock out their system. This could go very wrong very fast. Right, I'm gonna keep them on board for a second. I need to knock out their weapon system again. It's too risky. Gonna move these guys back because we might need their assistance. Yep, the shields went down again. We need those. They're important. Close all doors, open all doors. We're doing the, uh, the redistribute oxygen strategy. Oxygen system operational. Put some extra power in dodging. Everything's gonna be setting on fire here. That's a problem. Our ship is too on fire for us to be able to board them. Yeah, the engine room's currently on fire. Oh no, okay, hold on. Seal this, and this, open this. We're doing it, we're venting the corridor. I'm gonna seal off key rooms that I know aren't on fire. They just set that on fire, didn't they? Okay, vent that too. Shields fixed, get them running again for the love of God. You look for fires. Yep, there it is. Hold on, just get out of there. I'm just gonna vent that. Oh god, everything's burning! Forget the boarding strategy. I'm just gonna shoot them. I'm just gonna keep shooting them. Auto fire. Just keep knocking out their bloody weapons. Switch to their drone system. I hear lots of fire. You, go to oxygen room. Guard it. Vent everything else. There we go. All doors open except the ones in the rooms people are in. Yeah, I know O2 is low. Shut up, game. Right, the blooming drone control's out. Uh, I'm just gonna keep shooting the drone. Wait, no, their weapon's back online. Shoot their weapons again. Okay, I don't hear any more fire. Seal all doors, open all doors. We distribute the oxygen. You get on repairs. Engines are more important. Oh, there's still vented areas. Oh, they fired a missile before we. Ah, oh, come on. Fired a missile just before we killed them. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. One missile, one drone, 25 scrap. Oh, that was painful. Okay. Yeah, that went wrong. I tried to do a fancy strategy and that just made everything so much worse. Just get all our guys on repairs. Except him, he can stay on the helm. He's never gonna leave the helm. That's his job. I, put, I could have handled that better. I could have... There were ways I could have mitigated what went wrong with that. I know I know when it is and isn't auto-fire, I just uh, keep for, like forgetting what I've set it to in the moment and assuming that it's set to one thing when it's not. Sealing all doors. Everything's back to normal. There we go. That works. Uh, yep, they're taking their sweet time getting up here, which is always good. Off we go. You don't need to backseat too much. Remember, I know everything about how this game works. I'm just rusty on implementing it. And yeah, my missile supply is critically low. A pirate ship arrives shortly after you, judging from the fact that it's attempting to avoid your ship, you assume it is a smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. Attack the pirates! The power of your weapons and move in to engage. Despite my lack of 
of missiles, I just can't help but go and attack the enemy anyway. And now I really wish that I, I did have two points of shields, because I think it would make me immune from this guy's weapons. Damn. Alright, let's go for... One Artemis to their weapon systems, and board. Thank you very much, Eric Caparoso, for that $5 super chat. Mupin says you are the coolest bean. Thank you very much, Eric Caparoso. I definitely appreciate it. Will the coins do their thing, or did I miss them doing their thing already? I think they're, they're yet to do their thing. Presumably they're going to at some point. Sometimes it takes a while for that to actually happen. I was I was ready for the, the cup stuff to... There it goes! Stick the landing. Solid landing there. I appreciate the the uh, the working on on coming down the back seating, Rick. Good work. Thank you. I appreciate that people want to give advice, and sometimes there is good advice to be given, but also sometimes it's just me being useless. <laughs> and you can't you can't stop me being useless. No force on this earth can stop me. Now we got power to spare here, because I, I should really power up the whole missile, shouldn't I? So I have that to hand if I'm using it. Alright, they've opened fire. Oh, this could hurt. Okay, small amount of damage to an empty room. Oh, god damn it, we missed! Okay, target again. I'm going to turn off auto fire, because I do want to be careful about my shots here. I killed them by taking out the O2, but I've specifically set up the boarding system here, so I might as well use it. Gives me more, like, control in the moment. Okay. Here we go, this is always the risky moment. These guys may not come back from this. Let's find out. Teleport to... Um... I guess we should teleport to the weapons room. Then they can't fix it. Boop. Hello, there's a slug in here. Oh, they've got another rock. Okay, this might be okay because if we deal with the slug, we can team up against the rock. And yeah, we're not auto-firing anything right now. That's all good. We're fine. Okay. Slugs down, which means we can team up against the rock. We'll get him dealt with quicker. But someone else is coming to help. Oh, it's a Zoltan. There. Wait. Does Zoltan explode when they die? I think Zoltan explode when they die. Uh. That's a thing, right? Isn't that a thing? That's the thing. We can teleport them in if we need to. Let's try and kill the rock, get them back. Heal them, send them back in, and then they can survive the explosion. That's a plan. If we can kill the rock in time. We, we might not be able to. The Zoltan dies so quickly, I don't think we can kill the rock before we kill the Zoltan. Okay, we did. Right, good news. Uh, teleport everyone the hell out of that room. Because they are not in a state to deal with a Zoltan exploding on them. I don't know how much d damage that does. If somebody knows, then, then please tell me. Does anyone know how much damage they do? Because if we can find out the exact number, we can make sure that we can survive it. Oh, they're repairing the systems. Come on, come on, heal. Okay, get back in the room. Go, go, go. And jump back into the weapons room. Kill him! And we'll find out how much damage he does. There he goes. The ship refuses to fight, but you still detect life signatures. Apparently this was a prisoner transport. The single survivor offers to join your crew in exchange for their freedom. 36 scrap and a slug called Johnson. Thank you very much for, for just giving me giving me this ship and, and all your stuff. Okay, how much damage did it do? It did 15 damage. Okay, that's not too much. We can probably survive it. <laughs> I, like, I like Red P's answer. The damage is 2.6 run gun. Uh, not great, not terrible. Nice, okay. We got a new crew. Don't know how we got back, because we haven't teleported our guys back. Here they are. Get in the med bay. Everyone to your stations, and we have a new slug dude. He can see rooms. This is a useful ability. It's kind of a shame to coop him up in, in one room. Oh, he can see the, the med bay, though. Because he's adjacent to it. Yeah, there's like particularly effective places to put him, like there, but that's an airlock, so. 
That's a good spot to put him. You get vision on a lot of ruins, but I think we need to put him in the weapon system so we have a guy doing that. Now I wonder... This guy's actually better at weapons than shields. I'm gonna move him to the weapons room because that's closer to the teleporter. We keep this guy on shields. He can move quick. So he can get into, into key positions if, uh, if he needs to quickly. Whereas these guys can be close to the place we want to send them. Also, can I check what slugs are capable of? Ah, uh, yeah, telepathic powers reveal rooms and life forms even when sins are down. Immune to mind control. It's something. Um, also, we gotta name this guy. I got a name. His full name is Logan Johnson, apparently. But we're gonna change that to... Anil... Oh, did, did the L register? There it is. No, wait, two Ls. Anil... Anilica... Barry. There we go. And there, now they are a slug called Barry. <laughs> oh dear. I, I see it uses the surnames. Oh, we can't change the colour of them. I, I guess that makes sense. You can do that in, in at the beginning of the game, but once you're going, you can't change literally their appearance because they are still the same slug. You can just call them a different name, whether they like it or not. Yep, a slug is particularly useful in the current uh, situation we're in. So it's not too shabby. Yeah, they don't have any training in anything. But welcome to the crew, Barry. <laughs> or does it never display? It never displays your full name. Oh no, what is it? An Anilica, I think. Something like that. There's a store. That's good. We need a store. Let's go. You discover a cluster of Federation refugee ships taking shelter in the folds of the nebula. I'm sorry, we've got nothing to give you, but we need scrap to keep the engines running. You sense. They'll strike a trade. Okay, uh, we've got two pages of stuff here. A few different things going on. Hull laser. Uh, breach missiles. Hull beam. Okay. There's some options there. We could also buy some crew. 45 scrap for any of them. Um, though that will lock us out of buying most other things. Then we got some drones, but I don't particularly plan on having a drone control, so none of that. And cloaking. Cloaking is the big one. 150 scrap. And that is the reason, and there's got a couple of other things in the game worth 150 scrap, that I always try and keep 150 scrap on me. However, we've been struggling so far, and I haven't actually managed to get to that number. Also, backup battery. Provides a 30 second power boost to your reactor. Upgrading. Increase the boost amount. I might go for that. That would be very nice. Definitely putting that on the, uh, on the high priority list. Okay, so whole laser, 14 seconds, two shots, one damage each, double damage on systemless rooms. Hold beam, same power, same charge rate. But it's a beam, right, yes. Double damage on systemless rooms. Generally, you can manage to hit more than two rooms with a, with a beam. But beams can't do anything to shields, whereas the whole... Whereas lasers can, if I'm getting this right. So a laser can actually deal with shields, which we would have to if we're using it. We could do whole beam by targeting their shield system and then using the beam to knock out their weapons and other things. Double damage on systemless rooms will also be nice. And yeah, we definitely need to buy some more missiles because we have six left. We can get up to ten again, which is still not fantastic. Oh, we buy the whole beam, we can't even afford all the missiles. And that means we can't afford any other repairing or fuel or anything. Oh, no. But we have weapons to sell here. We got more weapons than we need. We got three different missile weapons. We can probably scrap one. This is quicker and can still do the same damage as a breach missile. We can't do breaches and breaches are nice. They're both worth 32, but this one uses more power is the thing, so I probably want to scrap the breach missile because I can just afford the whole missile more. That said, the whole beam will serve the purpose the whole missile would. But that would give us, like, it, whichever one of these we sell we get 32 scraps, so that gives us some, some money to work with then. I think I'll sell the breach. Oh, 
Oh, and now the 30 seconds has passed and everyone can start to say what they think they should do. I, I'll accept people's advice on the shopping because I'm very indecisive when it comes to shopping and if people say they're very much in favour of one particular thing, then I'm on board. It's backseating and like the micromanaging of my of my people on my ship that's somewhat pointless because of the 30 second delay that means it will be irrelevant ultimately. Do I'm always people saying drop the, the hull? I'm going to get the whole beam. I think I'm, I'm settled on that, so we'll buy that right now. That leaves us barely any money. We'll get the 32 and we'll have 55 to play with. That'll allow us to buy everything we want out of this selection. We'll have to skip the backup battery for now. We just we can't afford it. Yeah, I'm going to say that I will allow people to, to say what they think I should or should not buy or sell in uh, in the shop sections. Everything else, keep it to a minimum. Yeah, people are saying sell whole missile. Yeah, maybe I'll do that then. Like, the breach missile is more versatile. It's more power cost, but... Okay, yeah, people are pretty... There's a consensus on it, so I'll go with that. That gives us 55, so... Buy all the missiles we can, all the fuel we can, and then we can't even fix up the ship fully. We'll fix it that much. Back up to, to five damage, and we got six scrap left. Okay, how far back in the stream are you, Andreas? We're we're already we've already sold one. I mean we won it by the time you've spoken, but we've already been talking about it. Alright, so, uh, Artemis needs to be first priority because the whole beam can do nothing unless the shields are down, which the Artemis will deliver. So there we go. Yeah, the whole beam doesn't take too long to, to get going relative to the Artemis. The timing probably works out pretty well, really. There's a small chance we want to hang back the Artemis for a second. Well, let's check, like, how the, the weapons synchronize. Artemis is 11 seconds, whole beam is 14 seconds, so... 33, 28... Hmm. Yeah, we want to delay the second firing of the beam till after the third firing of the Artemis when that comes into play. Right. We've still got plenty of time, actually. One, two, three, four, five. But then it's going to go to hell when we go over here, because then there'll be... That's two places out in, in the open, so then they'll make big jumps, so that's like... We're yeah, we might only have a couple jumps left, actually going to go here. A rock armored transport nearby looks to have lost its bearings, but when you hail they grow suspicious. Whatever life form you are, we find you repugnant. We seek no aid. Leave now. But I'm but I'm also we are rocks. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, so the options are leave, repugnant, arm the weapons, or rock crew member, offer to lead them out of the nebula, because we're also rocks, you idiots. The rock grudgingly transfers control of their helm to you, and you steer them to a thinner part of the nebula. They're not sure what to think, but transfer over some supplies all the same. One missile, one drone, 40 scrap, nice. We need that right now. We need scrap, oh god. Uh, let's just make sure our shields are always ready to go. Shields should always be ready before we jump, because they will be in the status they were at before the jump, after the jump. Gonna push my luck and go there. Because that went so well last time. Your crew are constantly looking out of the windows, checking for hostiles. They jump at every creak and moan of the ship. Their tension is almost palpable. Nothing happens. Onwards! A heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula at this beacon. Before you have time to make contact with them, they fade into the nebula. But I can use the teleporter to lock onto their life signs! You beam the Federation crew aboard. One gladly joins your crew and the rest wait to be dropped off at the next station. 33 scrap and another slug called Cussy. Awesome. We're, we're gathering quite the crew here. Okay. Um, you are identical, I think, in appearance to the other one. Which is... Oh, no, you're not. You're like a slightly lighter color, I think. Hard to say. Okay, let's name you. Oh, wrong button. 
Yep, that, that's your full name. Well, now your name will be... Cri Cri Christian Chipa. Boop. Refer to on the ship as Jeepa. Awesome, and you could be the door guy. It's not the most efficient setup because we now have two slugs right next to each other, but it means our doors are better, and that's all that matters, really. More slugs. In the not identical, they are slightly different colors, but now I'm kind of tempted to swap these guys back around, but this is the boarding party. I need them to be near the, the teleporter, ultimately. So, it makes sense to do that. There's nowhere else, like, I can't... These are the best stations for these guys to be in, to be close to that. And this guy can be a backup engine or weapons guy if we so need it. And now we have better doors. Nice. We'll get some nice teamwork going in the next boarding actions that happen. Okay. Uh, right. So if we jump there now, then that'll be the warning spot. Jump again, that'll be the warning spot. Jump again. I think we can go there before it's too late. Being on the doors means the doors are stronger. Okay, here we go. It appears that an automated rebel scout was positioned within the nebula to warn of your passing. The ship starts to power up its FTL drive. If it gets away, it will no doubt warn the fleet of my position. And it's cloaked? This isn't fair. I can't do anything. It's just going to charge up its FTL and then it's going to get away and we're going to ruin it's going to ruin all our plans. Target there. Blumin I mm, they're okay, their their shield system and then we can use the beam to target their cloaking system. We're just going to have to tank their weapons. It's going to hurt. That's all we can do. Damn it. No, oh, they're going to hurt us. Okay. We don't need the teleporter system. That's fine. Actually, I'll send that guy over to that because he can get some repair experience. He's got nothing better to do. Okay, firing the missile. It missed! Ah! Now what do I do? i just got to sit here and target the thing again because the beam won't be able to do anything. Oh no! It's just going to jump away before I even land a single hit. Now it's cloaked again! Oh, apparently I hit it in the shields, but now it's cloaked so I still can't shoot it. Unless I can. No, I can't. Ah. Okay, it's decloaked. Shoot their blooming everything. All their rooms. There. All we needed was to get one beam hit on the thing. We knocked the entire thing out. Oh dear. The ship breaks apart and you feel relief in the knowledge that you will hopefully still be one step ahead of the fleet. Two fuel, two missiles, 17... Scrap. So we broke even on missiles that time. Alright, let's see. What's the state of the, the ship? Is everything okay? We can use our slug to inspect all the rooms. Everything's fine. Repairs are done. Barry needs a quick trip to the med bay. There we go. You know what? We could actually... We could swap this guy to another room and just have one of these guys, like, on the teleporter. That's a way of doing it, just have a dedicated boarding team that doesn't also double as other roles. But it is good to have someone on doors, so... Yeah, the scrap has been scarce, considering this is easy mode. It's been a struggle. Been a struggle. How are we looking for jumps? Yeah, it's the exit and then the quest. Uh... I think we'll just jump. I like to try and save my money a bit, in case anything cool comes along. Right, here we go. We've left the nebula. You've arrived at a long-range beacon when the FTL drive is charging jumps to the next sector. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Explore the dangerous asteroid field! <laughs> you discover the remains of a ship embedded in an asteroid. It's still some functional missiles. Three missiles, 30 scrap. Awesome. We needed that. That's nice. And yeah, we can jump there and get back just before the rebels get here. It's all coming up roses. Let's upgrade some things. Because I just uh, jinxed myself. Let's get those extra points of shields. That's going to be nice. There we go. And on to the quest. 
You can definitely catch up if you watch at double speed, I think, at this stage. Um, you find the Mantis encampment, but they there are far too many of them to count accurately. You send a long-range message back to the settlement with your findings, but unfortunately, there's not much you can do. It will be suicide to attack directly. Leave before they notice you, or missile weapon! Bombard their key structures! Bombard your key structures. You fire at their fuel depot, but a shot from the surface rips the missile to shreds. They must have a planetary defense system set up already. You try to get away, but a nearby patrol ship moves in to attack. Good, more scrap for us. Oh, they've got two pulse weapons. Wait, no, we've got extra shields now. They probably can't penetrate those. But yeah, genuinely, I don't think they can penetrate our shields. Right? I could be wrong, they could be double damage. I almost always play this game as a B-type Lanius cruiser just because Lanius makes such an awesome boarding party. That is true, Dracarum. Lanius are very fun to board with because you suffocate the people you're fighting. Okay. Oh, we should we should probably board this, shouldn't we? Considering that... Uh, they, they have a Mantis, but only one. A Mantis and an NG. Interesting combination. I reckon we can hold our own. I might do one Artemis shot to whatever room the Mantis is in, just to weaken them before I do that. Yeah, let's get over there. You get to the weapons room just to keep that running smoothly. We'll let the weapons charge. I want to see what their pulse weapons do, because I think they might not be able to breach our shields. Okay. Ooh. That only took out our shields. Yeah, we're safe, as long as our shields can recharge quick enough, which I'm pretty damn sure they can. They can't hurt us. We have all the time in the world for this. We might just be able to get in there, take out the Mantis, and... The NG won't be able to make much of a difference. Or we take out the NG first. Just double team the guy so he goes down super quick, and then we're fighting 2v the, the Mantis when that happens. That might actually be the better strategy. Just finish him off quickly. They're not moving anywhere particularly. I'm going to go for it. We're going to have the weapons on standby, but I'm not going to use them. Unless I need to, I think. I, I want to spend a missile to do this, but I I, I don't want to spend a missile. That's, that's my problem. Oh yeah, I can see the enemy because of the slugs. They are psychic. They know, they can tell me who is in the ship and what they are doing. It's brilliant. This goes wrong, we just have to survive 15 seconds. But that's a long time. I think we're gonna be okay. Let's do this. Okay, we got no time at all there to actually do damage to the, uh, the NG. Okay, maybe this is gonna go wrong. Hmm. We can just start running. I think combat stops. Actually, no, look. He's winning. I don't even know why or how, but he is winning. I thought they were evenly matched, but apparently not. Nailed it. With the patrol ship taken care of, you hasten to leave. It won't be long before the other ships catch up. Three fuel, one drone part, and 38 scrap. Nice. Bring him home. So yeah, he got a little bit beaten up, but he actually did surprisingly well. Considering that I thought Rox and Mantis were e like, e evenly matched. Because I thought Mantis did 1.5 uh, times melee damage, and Rox have 1.5 times health. Right? That's how that works, right? Yeah, normal health is 100. Maybe, do Mantis have less, but they're like murder ninjas, so it works out for them? I don't know. Return to your posts. Oh. Other oh, posts aren't correct at all anymore. Hang on. If we, I need to reset these. I've got to remember. Mantis have minus 30 health. Oh, okay. So, yeah, a rock is actually better at combat than a mantis. It's just slower. Save crew, crew positions. This, this is our combat dream team now. Mark and Daniel. They're going to level up in combat soon, and then they're going to be really formidable because they'll be able to take on, like, other rocks and beat them without too much trouble. So yeah, we're now a little bit shorter on power because of, uh... because I've stretched things a little bit. Should be okay. And yeah, look at that. We're, uh... We're going to get back to the exit in time to leave. And there'll be nothing to do here because we've already been here, which is annoying. 
It's kind of a waste of a jump, but it's probably worth it for that mission. Zoltan controlled or another uncharted nebula. Ooh, ooh, I don't know. I don't know about this one. Do we want to just stick to the nebulas? I like them because you can get more jumps in, and I might break my jump record if I do that. Though the real way to break the jump record is deliberately stay in rebel space for ages and ages with a ship that has a super good FTL. And you just do that in like the final sector. You just bounce around forever, dodging ships and and or killing them and getting their fuel. Yeah, common XP only helps when you've actually leveled up, but they're close to that now. Rock does beat scissors. That makes sense. That's what it is. <laughs> no, but the I. I, okay, a Zoltan does give me a slightly better chance of crystal ship if I encounter the asteroid field for the pod and then in that same area encounter the science mission for it. I hate Zoltan even more than Nebulous. Oh dear. There's a few different ones that have uh, less or more health uh, reading Chameleon. So, I, I don't know. I feel like I, it might actually be true that Mantis are, are lower health, but then their super high damage rate makes them more than... like, more than makes up for that. Now everyone's voting Nebula. It's that you have to find a mission in an asteroid field that does a certain thing, then you have to find any Zoltan region and a particular uh, random event in that, and then you have to find the Rock Homeworld. Those are the three things that I'm aware of that you have to do. I have a slow go nebula. That's a good point. I think more people are voting nebula. Let's go nebula. Here we go. This nebula must have been an important hub at one point. Placing all of these jump beacons will be no easy task. However, now it's hardly navigable. Oh, there's a store. We do have a decent amount of money to our name. I could bounce around and come back to it, but that might then waste jumps or have me leaving the nebula, which I never want to do in a nebula sector. Seems wasteful. So we'll go straight to the store. Discover Coastal Federation refugee ships taking shelter from them. Uh, we've, we've seen this one before. Backup batteries an option again. Drones that I don't care about. Uh, ooh, and quite the selection of crew. Including some that have certain skills. It's an option, but we've already done so well for crew, I don't know if we need to buy any. We'll probably just accrue. Huh, accrue enough crew. We'll accrue a crew of our own anyway without having to pay for them. So. It would be nice, but I'll probably leave that. So the only option really is, do we want the backup battery or not? And I think that the answer is yes, even though our scrap is a little bit short. Uh, let's also buy all the missiles we can, and all the fuel we can, before we do anything else. And then... I, I am tempted by hacking, I do like hacking, but I think I'll go backup battery before I go hacking, and we'll maybe go for hacking later, because it's 80! No, I can't do that right now. But backup battery, 35, I can totally do that. That's cheaper than buying the the reactor points. By 5 scrap. Actually, no, I think it's by like 15 scrap now. Zoltan crew members are great. They, they do give extra power. But they've got the value for that. It's, the, it's 60 scrap, so like 25 of that is the power point. And then... I mean, it means it's a cheap crew member. They're 35 points and it's a crew member and they're good at piloting. Except they'll be useless in piloting. We can't put them there because they won't provide power to the piloting system. So it's kind of pointless to have them be a good pilot. People do... a lot of... Uh, yeah, there, there's a couple of people that are on board for the Zoltan. I'm surprised. I know they're good for that, but are they that good for- it's 60! That's a lot of scrap! I'd have to sell something, for a start. Because <laughs> I went and bought a bunch of things. Since you probably all asked for that. Yeah, I can't even afford it, what's the point? I can't- I can't do it. We'll just leave it. I think that's just what you get for being uh, leveled up on, on, in piloting. My pilot will get that eventually anyway. I think the seven, plus seven might be the first level of it. So that'll happen soon. And I'll probably repair as well, yeah. Backup battery. And again, I'm going to fix back up to five, because it is a good idea to keep five in case you get a, like a, a good repair event. 
We don't have one vote against Zoltan. Sell the... Wait, what? Sell the drone? I don't have drone parts. This is... This is their shop. I don't have any drone stuff. <laughs> plus seven is just plus two from uh, from a basic pilot. Ah, uh, yeah, it might be. I, I don't know whether it counts it or not. Either way, we've spent all we can. Let's move on. And now we have our backup battery system. Press this button to receive extra power. It's nice. Oh, there I go, randomly clicking again. All right, on we jump. Another store? Why? Why? Whose idea was this? The competition must be ridiculous. I'm not going to that store. I have 15 scrap, there's no point. And it's outside the nebula. It, everything's terrible. You see a small station nearby and feel the shudder of shots ringing through the ship. You can't be sure without senses, but it seems there may be intruders on the ship. Intruders on board. Oh, that's a lot of them. All right. Sure, fine. Get venting. Let's do it. Um... Huh. Kind of awkward. You guys get to there. You be, like, ready here. We don't need a guy on the helm. There's nobody here. I'm gonna vent the crap out of that room, but I'm gonna wait for a moment. Oh, uh, Slug, can you be our scout? I really wish you hadn't gone through that door, but sure. But now I can see a bit better. Uh, I should just leave that door sealed. Then they have to spend some time faffing around. You hop to the med bay for a minute. <laughs> that messed that up a bit. Okay, they've broken through to here. Oh, all of them have at the same time. I should have opened that door, shouldn't I? Then two of them would have been in here dying already. They've gone for that one, which is not what I wanted. You get moving around there. Actually, no, there's a better way of doing this. Get out of that room. Uh, get out of there entirely. Go to the med bay. Get out of here. <laughs> and I'm gonna vent the room that they just broke into. Oh no, our slug! Our slug's in trouble, and that means the door system's down because he's having to defend himself, and the whole system just fell apart. Okay, seal all doors, open all doors. We're now just open combat. You get in there to help out the slug. You guys in the shield room. And this should work out pretty well for us. Oh, he's running off. Why, why are you running to? You just ran into a different room to die. Sure. Everyone to the med bay. Okay, you guys out. You guys in. One of you didn't actually leave. Oh, okay, because it's a two-person room. Uh, who am I training and repairing? Uh, Daniel, I kind of... I want to train one of the slugs now, actually. Okay, everyone back to your post. Which slug is it that's responsible for the door rooms? It's cheap, isn't it? You can be our repair person. That makes sense. Even though you have no repair skill so far. And Daniel has most of it. But that's fine. Yeah, I, I get covered. Either way, I was gonna, like, succeed in that, because if all else fails, I can retreat to the med bay and vent the whole ship. But I was trying to, like, deal with it more directly by... Uh, half killing them with oxygen deprivation, and then just rushing them and finishing them off if I needed to. If the oxygen deprivation plan failed at any point. Okay, onwards and backwards. Let's go over there. You cycle through wideband comm channels as soon as you arrive, nothing but static. Welp, onwards. Uh oh. A rock armored transport nearby looks to have lost its bearings when you hail the girl suspicious, whatever life form you find you repugnant. We are rocks, you idiots! Why are there so many rocks just like pootling about in this nebula being all like, Don't come near me! I bet you're aliens! No one touches us! How many rock cruisers have, have, like, killed other rock cruisers because they panicked and were like, I bet it's aliens! 
The rock originally transfers control, we did all the things. Two missiles, one drone part, 26 scrap. Our, our scrap rates are doing better these days. It's, it's a nicer payoff now. Okay, let's make sure we have shields, if nothing else. There we go, and jump, keeping one step ahead of the rebels. <laughs> His repair skills are somewhat sluggish so far, but he'll be slick at it in time. Oh dear. Your ship emerges quite far away from the beacon. You see a rebel ship waiting nearby. Deadly station look for you. Attack the ship! Hanging back is boring. Shoot them. Engage systems. Uh, we have three human crew members. We could take them. Rocks. Two arms. And yeah, I don't think they can break through our shields again, so this is another one where we have all the time in the world. Yep. We could just train up our shield guy. Like, he'll just get better at his job while, uh, while we sit here. If we want to be sneaky about it. I would hang around and do that for ages, but I'm streaming, so I probably shouldn't. <laughs> uh, oh, let's make sure this is actually fully powered. Alright, we don't need weapons. Power down the weapons. Actually, no, we should have them in case we need them thinking about it. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. We don't need maximum dodging. We'll still train up our dodging a bit if we manage to dodge, though there's only a 15% chance. Okay, jump to their helm, I think, because that's a smaller room. And further away, so we'll have some time to knock out this guy before the other guy turns up, so we've got a little bit of a head start. This is actually a bit of a risky one, but the other guy's not getting involved until his guy's dead, so the thing is going to be recharged, and we'll be able to extract them as soon as we need to. Alright, so far so good. One down, two down, the other guy's not even here. And now he's turned up, and also, I just heard a level up in combat, so... Oh. Who's that? That's Mark. He's now better at combat, but yeah, he's... Getting a little bit close. Get him out of the room. Have these two guys try and... Oh yeah, we might be able to finish this guy off. I'm gonna play it safe. Actually, I think we can... I think we can kill him, right? Like, we're so close. Oh, like one more hit. There we go, we got him. We're, we're okay. There are no more life zones remaining on the ship, you strip it of useful materials. Three fuel, one drone, 45 scraps. Yeah, a little bit close, but we could always have jumped them out if we absolutely needed to. We got down to 12 health and 16 health. Oh dear. Alright. Back you come. Good work, guys. Med bay for you. Oh god, it's going to take forever. Maybe I should upgrade the med bay at some point. Oh yeah, and Liam was the- I was trying to work out who was who, and I'm like, they're called Mark, Daniel, and Liam, and for a second I was like, which one's the enemy? I don't even know. Someone's injured, somebody else isn't. I don't, what? Eh. He who controls the doors controls the ship. Oh no. Alright, back to your positions. Good work. Did you both level up? Um, Mark did. Daniel is almost ready. That's good. What's his uh what's his combat bonus now? 10% more damage. Nice. We got a hundred scrap to work with. Alright. Let's keep it moving. I'm gonna try and save up the scrap for now. Nothing here save the save for vast swirls of gas reflecting rays from a distant sun. Well that's boring. Upgraded Membe is also good for distress, distress calls. Good point, Drake Aram. You spot a rebel ship in the nebula ahead and stay off their radar. Try to engage. Prepare to chase them! With that senses, you can't maintain a lock for long. Rebels slip away. Damn it. I was probably supposed to like be careful and watch them or something, but I don't, I don't know. I probably need better senses or something. I like it was just still there. It's right there. Can't I shoot it? It's right there, guys. Okay, let's leave. Boop. Navigating the fog blind, you practically bump holes with a mantis ship. They hail you. Pah! 
This transgression will will be overlooked. Nebula very dangerous. Next time, humans all die. There won't be a next time. Open fire! I like how you... A, a good strategy for this game is just to be murder hobos and just shoot everyone at the first encounter. Ooh, they have a clone system. So we probably can't fight them. Unless we knock it out first. Oh, they have ion and lasers so they can break our... Our hull. I think this is one where we're gonna use the. We're gonna shoot him. We're gonna go with that. Oh, yeah, I like how it's like next time the humans all die and we're. There's no humans. This is a, a coalition of rocks and slugs. Right, target their shields with the Artemis. Let's do this the old fashioned way. And. Shields down, and... Oh, they only managed to take up one of our shields. They might not actually be able to breach our shields after all. Oh. Oh, he got stunned by the... By the ion. It's an ion stun weapon. Right. Um, right. Should we just kill them instantly? Because then that's what this is going to do. I can hit five rooms. That won't kill them. That will leave them just alive. But if I knock out... Their clone system... And half their other systems. I can totally board and start just punching them. Oh, it killed them. Never mind. Oh yeah, because it does double damage on systemless rooms and one of those rooms was systemless. Whoops, killed him. Well then. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap materials. Two missiles, one drone, 34 scrap. We're now doing alright for missiles. Nice. All right, uh, onwards then. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, we've got to go this way, because to get to the exit, we have to go via this route. If we go this way, we're lost. We can't get back. We've got to go here, 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 and here. And we might end up leaving too soon, as it turns out. But we've got no other options. We've got to do it that way. All right. And we're finally doing well for scrap. This is good. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. However, without functioning sensors, it is impossible to tell what is inside. Attack the automated ship to get to the station. It's cloaked. Welp. I can't use the boarding stuff for this, so I might as well just turn that off entirely. Okay. Um, oh. It, it has no shields. I'm just gonna... Wait then for my hull beam to charge. It may get another cloak in before that happens. Oh, it does have... No, it doesn't have enough to break our... Oh, it might. I think it gets perfect timing. It can knock out something. But also... Beams! There we go. And then we'll just uh, retarget their beam like here. And that'll finish them off. Easy. Sorted. You salvage what you can from the broken ship. 28 scrap. Investigate the station. The station was apparently designed to outfit rebel ships with drone systems. You find a functioning schematic. 18 more scrap and a system repair drone. I still don't plan on getting a drone system, so I guess I will sell that for however much it's worth. Does it say? Nah, it doesn't right now. Okay. Uh, and now we're on 189 scrap. Is, is there a store nearby? Not that we know of. I'm going to buy stuff then. I essentially consider myself having 35 scrap to spend, so... Uh, ooh, oxygen upgrade is will make things much safer for me in life, generally. Let's do that, because I, the sooner the better with that one. And we'll leave it there for now, that's all I'll do. Boop. And we'll never use the second bar of it unless it's an emergency. You never see glance out the windows, only thing, there's nothing there, okay, fine. Onwards! You can't see anything through the thick gases surrounding your ship without knowledge of what is out there. All you can do is wait for your FTL to charge. Damn it! Give me something, game! This is something. You jump into a sector of the nebula beset by a plasma storm. An automated rebel scout stationed at the beacon moves into attack. Oh. I'm, I'm torn here. I can fight it, but leaving it is a blue option. You've got to click blue options, but also I want to fight it. 
I'm gonna fight it. I think that's just like, get out of it if you need to get out of it. I don't need to get out of it. I wanna shoot some lasers. What is that? That is ions on top of ions. Okay. Hi there. Um... You have a, I think you have a missile weapon, but you've not got it on because you're so short on systems. You do have a hacking system. That's a worry. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm super short on power here. There's not much I can do. With the weapons power, this is what I got. When they fire, I can put more into shields, maybe? Like, I, what if I, if I fully power that, it's 25%. That's not much. I'll keep the shield on. Uh, let's just Artemis the uh, shield room and then the whole beam it to death. And see see what this ion does. It might be a bit of a pain. Ah, uh, it's a triple shot. That's what it does. Okay, shields are down. Oh, but the because the oh no, because I knocked out their shields. They redistributed power and they've instantly fired a hacking drone and also activated their missile control. Whole beam. Do that now, please. Okay, we've knocked it all out again. Good. And then... More whole beam there. How much damage does it do per room? One. So it's going to take two runs of the of the beams to take... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do it like... Oh, I guess we might as well run it through the hacking room again. There we go. Just take out three rooms again. Um, the Artemis doesn't need to fire. I'm going to hold back on that, because we don't need it. Um, I guess more dodging now. Actually, the, uh, oh, there is something to dodge, but not right now, so let's dump it in the oxygen system to uh, to get that fixed. And when they fire, I'll dump it back into, uh, into evasion. Actually, now we've got the shield system back, I'll do it like that again. Oh, let's knock out the Artemis, put that into... Uh, shields. Just more into shields. Okay, we have our plan. And... Oh, they've reactivated their missile system of all things. Okay, we just have to missile... We just have to beam them before they missile us, which may not actually happen. Uh, the response to that is maximum evasion. Oh... Aha! We dodged it! Nice. Excuse me, the ship explodes, does the thing. 39 scrap, a missile. Broke even, very nice. And two fuel. Oh god, our fuel's getting a little bit low, that's a worry. Okay. <clears throat> ah. Now Discord things have been happening. Is the important been going on? Alright, back to what I was doing. Um, we have 50 scrap to work with. Definitely should buy stuff. Another point of weapon capacity would help, because then we've got the option of bringing in the breach, though in place of the hull beam, which is not the best idea. But one point at a time, we'll get to a point where we can run everything at once. Hmm... I realized the door guy should be on the sensors a lot of time because we can use that to see enemy ships. It won't give us much because we already um like we can already see who's in the ship just because of our slugs. But we can still get like weapon charge and stuff and power use even if we fully overcharge it. Though I don't know if we'll go that far with it. Uh or maybe medbay actually. Weapons first. More versatility, a bit more durability on it is important. And then we got 15 points beyond 150, so we'll not do anything with that right now. Onwards to... I think we can go there and then still get to the exit before the Rebels do, because I think they'll be, like, there. So that works out. But I, I, I know I have the battery, but I was... I, like... I guess I could have used it. I At the start of the fight, I'm like, I don't want to use this yet. And then uh, during the fight, I then forgot that it was a thing. I did have it in mind, and then I forgot about it. 
A pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it's attempting to avoid your ship, you assume it's a smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. Attack the pirate. You pirate your weapons and move in to engage. Okay, oh, we've got a rock, a slug, and a mantis. I don't think we can board these guys. And they have a med bay. That makes it difficult. Uh, oh, we don't have shields ready. That's important. Uh-oh. Please charge those quickly. Oh, they've got a chain laser. That means we're on a timer. And they've got missiles. Yeah, this is one I think we just chuck we just throw the book at them. Like I think boarding's too risky. I mean technically we can hold our own against any one of those guys. I I could board? I could Let's think about it. We like we, like, missile their med bay? Maybe breach missile their med bay and then board. We gotta deal with their weapons, too. We gotta deal with both of these things. We gotta open fire with some proper firepower, I think. I could deliberately breach missile, but that's gonna make it take so much longer for our beam to do anything. Unless I scrap the beam and do Artemis and breach, but... Nah, the beam is more effective when you've got the Artemis to take out the shields. We're gonna knock out shields, and then we're gonna beam them. And we're probably not going to board today. Boarding is viable, but risky. I don't think it's worth it. For what we'll have to do. Oh. Okay, shield down. Pull beam on... Uh... The shield's probably fully down, actually, so we'll beam other stuff. If we go for med bay, it leaves the option for boarding open. I wonder if there's a way to get five. I don't think so. Four, definitely. This is gonna hurt them, for sure. Not gonna hit any people, because they've moved out of the way, but... So be it. Okay. Uh, they don't want to fight, they're trying to escape. Yeah, okay, boarding's off. I'm not boarding a ship that's trying to leave. Um, Go for there. I'm going to hold off on the Artemis, actually. One more blast of the whole beam will take them out. So, we'll just do that. Is that a chain, actually? I don't even know. It, it took out both our shields, but didn't get any further there. And... Sorted. Yeah, I know double damage against empty rooms. They had four health left, and I was hitting four rooms, so it didn't matter what rooms I hit. The debris uh, implies that the ship was carrying drone schematics, but unfortunately nothing remains. Whoops. You do find functioning drone parts, however. One drone part, 35 scrap. Okay, yeah, so if I had boarded and captured that, I would have got a drone. But, uh, it, like, the effort that would have been required, I would have put my crew in a serious danger. I, I, there's always the option to teleport them back out. I suppose I could have slowly worked away at, him, at them, but the problem was that they had the firepower to hurt me. So, the whole time I was doing that, they might be managing to land hits, and every hit they land is more money that has waste, been wasted. So, it, it, there was a, a solid chance it would have not worked out. Right, we got 50, uh... crap to play with. Let's get that medbay upgrade. I'm, I'm keen to have a second point of it, because then the medbay heals you quicker than suffocation kills you. And that's an important um, balance to be able to tip in your favour. All right, no one's injured. On to the exit. I forgot to move the slug to senses. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. Long range beacon is almost hidden within a nebula. When the FTL drive is charging, jump to the next sector. There's nothing here. I think I'll keep the slug in the door room most of the time, but I'll move them to the the senses if I know that I'm not going to be boarded. But yeah, I should have done that because it's useful. Okay, on to the next sector. Um, there's nothing to vote for. It's another slow-controlled nebula. We're really loving the nebulas this uh, particular run. I think the sensors can do something in the nebula still, at least in combat. I'm not sure, though. We'll test it. The only thing you can rent that can render a nebula more dangerous is if it's uh, also home to the slugs. This particular nebula is just that. That's the point. This is a slug-controlled nebula specifically. Hang on a minute. What's all this? This isn't nebula. 
And the eggs is not a nebula either. I hate it when I, when I go to a nebula sector and then I don't get the nebulas I was promised. Let's get into the nebula as soon as possible. You see a civilian uh, space station with heavy damage. You receive a message. We've been hit hard by the war. We need more drone parts to speed up our repairs. We'll buy some from you if you have extra. We have to make a choice right here and now. Are we ever going to use the hacking system? Because the hacking system uses drones. This is a bad rate for drones, but if I never use drones, I might as well. But if I use the hacking system, this is a terrible deal. That said, I'll probably just pick up enough drones generally that I can still make good use of a hacking system in critical situations when the time comes. Everyone says seldom. Okay. It's I'm 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 leaning to that. I think that's probably better. I will find more drone parts. Every, yeah, everyone's agreed. Okay, let's do it. All the drone parts gone and 48 extra scrap. We now have 215 to our name. There's no store nearby, so I'm going to spend uh up to 65 of it. Nice. Ooh, we could get the uh, crew teleporter up to 10 second cooldown. Or work towards better shields or dodging. Every option's open here. I'm gonna go for crew teleporter. I'm gonna lean into comp into into boarding combat. That's what we're gonna go for here. That's our thing. I hope we pick up a mantis at some point. You explore around the beacon and are shocked when a rock the size of a small moon suddenly looms ahead of you. Scans reveal the solid-looking rock is just a husk, almost entirely mined out of useful materials. Oh, it was just a bit of flavor text. Nothing interesting has actually happened. Okay, let's go bouncing sideways across the nebula now that we're in it. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. However, without functioning sense, it's impossible to tell what is inside. Attack. What do we got? Wow, this has no systems. But its its guns have uh, a little bit to uh, to be scared of. So yeah, let's go for that. Knock out every system. And then the second run of the whole beam will finish them off. We don't need the Artemis for this. We don't need most of our systems for this. Reactor power would help a nebulae take half of your power. Well, I'm thinking that the battery might be able to um, cover for that. He says not having yet used the battery and having, in fact, forgotten about the battery a few times so far. Hang on, I didn't get that targeted right. I've got to make sure to cover all the rooms. There we go. I, I only need to do three damage anyway, but might as well. Doop. Easy money. 50 scrap. Nice. Investigate the station. 22 more scrap and a repair burst weapon. The station is a storage site for military-grade weapons. You find one that can be easily attached to the ship. Wow. That was an amazing deal. Everything about that was fantastic. A ship that didn't hurt me, that was easy to kill, and it gave me so much scrap I can immediately buy one of anything I want. More shields? Hang on, I should check if there's a store. Always worth doing that. But no, okay. Uh, more shield time? You know what? Let's upgrade the backup battery. Maybe I'll remember to actually use the damn thing. Still got 35 points to, to spare. Ooh, I could upgrade the doors. And then I have mega doors when I have it manned. Yep, doing it. Oh, that was... I got my maths wrong. I'm now below 150. Whoops. It's okay. I've got stuff to sell. So repair burst. Sell teleporting unit that floods a room with nanobots to, uh, com capable of completely repairing all system damage. Required power 1. Charge time 14 seconds. And yeah, undoes any damage to a system. It's, a, it's an odd one. It is an odd one. But the thing is that with the current power distribution I have, I might as well have it active. And if I want to use it, I can use it. It might come in super useful, depending on how things go. I'll probably sell it uh, relatively soon, because I never usually bother with that kind of thing, but I could totally do it. Alert fuel low. God, yeah, you're right. Five fuel. Oh, crap. Thank you for the alert, Valter. Huh. I don't need power orbits. It's fine. I gotta... I gotta... Battery thing. Gives me four extra battery. If I need it, I can use it, and I don't need everything powered at once. I like to do messing about with reactor power. It's kind of fun. Divert all power to shields and all that stuff. It's, it's cool. It's exciting and, and sci-fi. 
Here we are. A slug ship hails you. We've detected some worrying radiation coming from your medical unit. Perhaps you sh we should take a look. As he signs off, your system shuts off and the crew teleports aboard from a nearby station. They don't like engineers. Intruders on board. Improved med bay. Try to squeeze some extra power to the system. Oh, they've knocked out the med bay, I see. They disrupt it and then they jump on board. That's what they're doing. Fearing the imminent battle, you desperately try to get the med bay working again. Its lights flicker back on and you turn to face the intruders. Right, so they wouldn't knock it out entirely, but because we fixed it, it's working again. Wow, yeah, okay, they're boarding us with two slugs and they've got another three slugs. They're ready for this, but they don't have a teleporter system. How does that work? Explain, please, game. Alright, Mark, get on it. Uh, backup team, be ready. Oh, yeah, uh, Jupiter's gonna need to get out of there. Because they've got a head start. But hold for a while and see how it goes. Okay, also we're combating the ship. i got to remember that. I'm fighting a ship and an internal battle at the same time. The only thing is I want to board them, but... Oh, they're bristling with weapons. I need to deal with this. Okay. Um, shields are good. That's all fine. Oh, they've got two points of shields. We might... Can the Artemis deal with that? I don't think it can. That's a serious problem for us. It's pretty rapid fire, the Artemis, so we might be able to just overwhelm their ability to repair the room. Uh. Uh, change of plan. Deactivate these. Get the breach missile going. Let's do this properly. Uh, so forget the shields, we don't need them because we're just going to use missiles for days. Take their weapon system to pieces, please, because that is just too many weapons pointing at us right now, including a missile. I don't like missiles. I'm going to switch it to water fire as well. We're going to go ham with this. I ain't dealing with it. Nope. But we've got a spare point of power now because they've messed with our shields. Oh, no. They just knocked out everything, including Artemis, because they didn't... I didn't arrange my systems right. Always put, like, your last resort weapon as the first thing in the chain. Or you end up having the charge be completely negated and you have to open fire again. Well, balls. We're in trouble. Um, hey, let's get the repair thing online. We might need that. Just keep that fight going. Jeep is in trouble. Gonna try and have you hold out for a moment. Okay, yeah, time to go. You get in there. Um, put some power in the med bay. It's not going anywhere else now because the weapons are down. I could teleport them off, I think, using the teleporter. I'm not sure how that works. But uh, I'd rather fight them because then I do have a chance of doing some boarding. It's not... It's not a battery issue, guys. They knocked out the system. I have plenty of power. They knocked out the system. Okay. The rocks will be able to finish them off now. Oh, the weapons are entirely down. That's a problem. Uh, you heal to like 50 and then get in there. Oh, I think they finished the job. Right, you in there. Everyone else also in there. Everyone repair that system now. We need that for living. It's important. Okay, Artemis back online. Knock out their bloody weapons. Oh. Okay, Jeeper, get the hell out of there and heal. Okay, we've knocked out their missile. That's important. I'm going to charge the repair bomb again. I might use it, but I think I'm going to get this fixed up in time. For that not to be a thing. And yeah, hashtag save slug. You guys keep at it. In fact, do a swap. Okay, they're, they're both done. Get in the med bay and board them. I'm done with this. I've had enough. I'll get on there myself and punch them. Except it's going to take forever to my gu for my guys to heal up. Oh no. Uh, in good news, because our weapon system's back online, we can do something. 
Yeah, shoot their weapons again. That's all we'll do for now. Um, we can now prepare the breach. We don't need oxygen, it's fine. <laughs> I want to keep everything else running. It's important. I couldn't activate the battery. I guess this is a good time. Just boop. Extra power. Put it in there. It's hard to choose, like, what power you put where. I want to put, like, reliable power into the... That thing, because I don't know what happens if battery power runs out while that thing's charging down. I have no idea, so we'll do it like that. Okay, Mark's nearly ready to go, and then we're just going to get in there and... Mess them up. Okay, the weapons are completely down. Deactivate auto-fire. Cancel targeting. You two, get in there. Let's beat up some slugs. Boop. Hi there, you're almost dead already. Uh-oh, there's three of them. Okay, we're fine. Oh, they're doing the, a team-up. Wait, no, he's splitting his fighting between two of them. I don't know if that's the best way of doing this. But it's working anyway. I like how their ranged attack is throwing rocks. There we go. With their crew dead, you quickly shut off their hacking module and your systems return to normal. You strip the ship. Two fuel, one missile, 58 scrap, and an anti-ship beam drone too. Nice. Puts us at exactly 200. Get back in the med bay. You too. We, we took some hits there. Oh, let's get the... Uh oxygen system back on and things like that. Prepare to breach sounds ominous. It should. It's dangerous. Someone in, involved in the process is probably going to die. That's how that usually goes. Right, that worked out well in the end. We used a couple of missiles, but we're doing okay-ish on those so far. And I remember to use the battery system. Uh, any stores nearby? Not that we know of. Okay, we got 50 points to spend. Another point of weapons might be nice, so we don't suffer so much from that again. Shields, though, I could really do with, like, a third point. That would be nice. I think, though... Weapons. Then... Okay, what can we power now? We could do, like, that now. I like keeping the repair thing just as an emergency backup system. Though it's also the first to fail if anything actually happens, I realise. Um, yeah, we can't quite power like the breach at the same time as everything else. We could do whole beam and breach, or we could do breach, repair, and Artemis. We want to keep the whole beam going, we want to keep the Artemis going, so that's what we're left with. But yeah, actually, I'll put... Ah, I'll put the repair bomb right there. So if they knock out our weapons, but there's still a bit of weapons left, we just use the repair bomb on the weapons room and get everything back running again. This is a good system. I like this system. Oh, we've got a lot of hull damage. Maybe I should have upgraded evasion or shields more urgently, after all. Okay, uh, oh, that can't actually come back this way, so we'll not go over there. We'll go over here. Upgrading the helm doesn't increase evasion, it only increases evasion of autopilot. Which it doesn't actually say here, but yeah. Um, when the pilot leaves, um, then evasion becomes nil. If you put it on auto, then you get uh, a proportion of your evasion still active. But I plan to never have anyone not on the helm. So I hopefully never need to upgrade that and I can save the money and use it somewhere else. A slug ship, a rogue, you suspect, approaches, but when he sees your federation, he thinks better of the sneak attack and fires everything he has. Oh, okay then. Uh, three slugs, and their weaponry is... Oh, okay, so the... I don't know if that can break our shields. If it can, that looks like it can wreck our faces, but I don't think it can break our shields. So prepare the boarding party. We can have everything else charging up too, but I don't think we need it. Okay, uh, yeah, let's just board. I, I was going to wait and see what the weapon does, but there's no need. Let's just board them. We know this works. We've done this exact fight already once. Uh, we can make it better, though, this time. So... There we go. Sure, we had points to spare. And teleport 
two. The helm, where only two of them can fight us at once. Give ourselves an even more of an advantage. The other guy has to wait till we've killed one of them to come in and, and start fighting us. And yeah, we'll just sit here, weapons charged, ready to go. Okay, their weapon can knock out our shields. Right. If it times it perfectly with the beam, that could kill us. So, let's be careful. Right, don't mess about blowing that up. Fight the slug. Okay, he's coming to us. Thank you. Excellent. And he's fighting the one of us that's uh, least injured. Excellent. Oh, what just happened? What? Why did our... Oh, the battery failed. Okay. Doop. It's fine. And got him. Nice. Now that the ship has been emptied of hostiles who search, eventually you find a prisoner who offers to join your crew. 21 scrap and... We got another crew member and he's an NG. NG are the best. You should always have one NG on your ship because they're super fast at repairing. Funnily enough. Recall the borders. Get to the med bay. There we go. We can power that down now. I don't know why I've still got that going. Alright. This is Fen, but we're going to rename them. Their full name is Andrew Fen, but now they are known as Blackwater. Spelled precisely so. Or, or Blackwater, apparently. Um, you have no special skills right now, but I'm sure you will be able to work on that. Repair speed is doubled in NGs, which is brilliant, and combat damage inflicted is halved, so never have them fight, but have them always do repairs, and they're brilliant at it. We should probably have some oxygen. That's important. I hear people need that. Uh, where should I put you? I might put you in a station. Uh, maybe... Oh, maybe that's a good idea. Hmm. But I could also have you on, like, the surveillance system, and then... Oh, you should be the door guy. Because then you'll be near the oxygen and that's like the critical stuff that needs to be repaired instantly if ever there's a problem. And the slug can be the one on... Uh... Oh, but if he's there he can't watch the airlock. Maybe we have it this way around then. Yeah, right now he can't do anything. Yeah, this is actually completely inactive. We can't use it at all. Okay. You never bother with an NG? If your systems are damaged it means you're not aggressive enough. Oh dear. Okay, everyone back to your uh, positions. How is everyone at their particular jobs right now? Uh, they haven't actually had that much of a chance to be good at their job, so maybe it's a good idea to put an NG in, in the role and have just someone stationed in the med bay. Like, put an NG in the engines, and then Mark can go just live in the med bay. And it means we don't have someone on surveillance, I realise, but we can always put the slug on that if we need to in the moment. And it means we're even closer to the... Uh, to the teleporter, ready to move. It means we're further away from any fires, and rocks are good at fires, but... Yeah, Mark is... I mean, he's semi-decent at, at using the engines, but he's amazing at combat, so that's what we need to focus on. So I think I'll go with that. I'll save that for now. It might change it later. We'll see. Uh, we've got 20 scrap to spare. Wait, let's check if there's a store. There isn't. Okay. We really need a store. We need to repair and get more fuel urgently. Game, game, please, game. Um, there's nothing for 20 apart from the helm, and I don't want to bother upgrading the helm. Alright. Let's keep it moving. Where do we want to go? Like, we just want to meander around here and slowly make our way over over there. I think we we'll want to go there first. The Mantis attack ship here looks to have been hunting slugs on their home turf. A rare test of honor for the mightiest Mantis crews. Weapons up. Well, we definitely got to kill these guys. They've been hunting slugs. We're slugs. Ah, oh, it's two mantises and an engine. We probably can't take these on in a fight. Uh, maybe, actually. Like, if we pick one room, then the best... At most, we're fighting two mantis and the engines elsewhere, and then we'll probably kill them, because we're pretty good at combat. And then the engine will have to come in, and we might be able to even finish them off without leaving. However... They are bristling with weapons. Uh, we're definitely going to start with some some firepower, because this is a lot of weapons. Let's go for the good old one, too. 
Wait, that's a repair. No, the, the beam, the whole beam. There we go. Something like this. Five rooms. I like it. All rooms occupied by crew as well. This is a good opening volley. They don't have a med base, so any damage we do to their crew, it's just gonna happen. Okay, shields knocked out. Whole beam. Fire! Oh, it killed him! Oh! Oops! I didn't think it would be that effective! I forgot to account for the damage the Artemis would do to their hull, on top of the fact that the whole beam was going through a couple of different empty rooms. Whoops, I killed them. Two fuel, one drone, parts, and uh, 44 scrap. Alright then, yeah, that, that's, that's that done. Took some damage to the oxygen system, but because... Hang on, no, it should be you. Actually, no, let, let it be him. He's already good at repairing, so... Though it's may maybe good to get the NG Turbo good at repairing so that he can uh, insta-repair systems later in the game when it's critically important. But also having a backup repair isn't a terrible idea. Ah, oh, whatever. Yeah, I... whoops. Didn't mean to... didn't mean to do that. Oh well. I'm wondering if blowing them up gets you more fuel or less. Like, I'm, it's, it's probably like trading out these three for more scrap, right? So... You'd think that boarding them and taking them out that way would get us more fuel, and yet I'm still in a fuel shortage despite buying all the fuel I've encountered so far. Pro tip, you need more than 150 scrap for... 150 for cloak plus, plus 50 for repair and fuel. Well, I mean, the important thing is that I can make that purchase if all else fails. It's like, I'm happy to sacrifice other stuff potentially. Like, And if I'm in that critical a condition that I can't spend 150 on an awesome system, I should probably not be spending 150 on an awesome system, but instead on making sure my ship doesn't explode. So we got 65 to work with. Um, I'm feeling engines. I think that's where I want to go. Yeah. No, we still got 35 to work with. Get an extra point of power. So we can run the engines and the oxygen and the shields and weapons at the same time. I'm feeling generous towards my crew. They can continue to breathe while in combat. It's not unusual to feel paranoia in a slow-controlled nebula, but for once, it is unfounded. Alright. Boring. This way. When it comes to slugs, no news is not necessarily good news. However, if they are watching, they don't seem to want to confront you. Again with nothing, but there's a store, so that's nice. Fuel is getting critical. But we're at a store, so this should be good. A huge slug teleports from nowhere onto the bridge. Before you can open fire, he spread his wares across the helm and is brandishing things at you. Okay, sure, fine. I don't know how he's brandishing his wares. These are quite large wares. These are major ship refits that he's apparently putting on the the helm. Alright, we've got a lot to look at here. We've got drone control. We're not doing that. Cloaking. Mind control. That would be nice. Mind control I mainly like because it means you can counteract enemy mind control because enemy mind control is the worst and gets all your crew killed. So maybe I'll... Uh, Jabba the trading hub. I, I like it. Nice. I'm definitely tempted by mind control. More so than cloaking right now. Looking is nice, but... Expensive. Meanwhile, page two. Backup DNA bank. Your crew is safe in clone storage, even if the system is off or broken. I don't have clone storage. I think I'm trying to get away with not having that, even though I really should when I'm aboarding the ship. I haven't encountered any yet. Like, if I'm, if I'm going to get clone storage, I should definitely get that. But I'm probably not going to. Uh, explosive replicator. Missile-based weapons have a 50% chance of not using a missile! We found our upgrade, guys. D d d we're, we're sorted. This is great. Also, FTL jammer. Scamble, enemy ships, FTL computers. Doubling the time it takes them to jump. Also nice, but explosive replicator definitely full priority here. Sod all these guys, though this guy is amazing at crew damage, but we're, it's fine. We're already training up our own guys that could do that anyway. And also a slug that's amazing at, at uh, combat too. Okay, yeah, that, hmm, buy that. We've got 100 left, which is more than enough to fix everything up, buy all the things we need. This seems good. Oh yeah, we should, I mean, before we do anything else, buy the damn fuel. And we're up to 9. It's not great, but it's something. Those two. Still got 130 left. Um, means we can buy, oh yeah, we've got stuff to sell as well. 
boop, boop. And I could sell the repair bomb for 20 as well. Do I not have to right away? Like, I don't think there's anything I want to buy right now that requires that necessarily. Mind control is awesome. That is true. FTL is two pounds on Steam because of the summer sale? Okay, anyone who doesn't own FTL right now, go buy it because it's two pounds. What? This is worth way more than two pounds. You sure that's not the soundtrack? What? I know, I know. I'm fixed the hole as well. There, still got 145 left. Right, I'm buying the explosive replicator because it's just smart. It's the smartest thing. We can still buy the mind control if we want. Should we get it? And I like that the, the higher levels you can make the enemy stronger too. As they kill each other. It's perfect, isn't it? Yeah, this means we'll be able to board anyone because we can turn half the crew against them. Really is it two euro oh two euros fifty, yeah, wow, okay. Yeah, buy this game, guys. It's a real good game. Soundtrack is one euro. Buy that too. That's also good. Alright, buying it, mind control, doing it. Did the thing. Um we could do more repairs, but I like keeping the five spare, so if we ever get the opportunity we can get some cheap cheap repairs. Okay, and there's the mind control in one of the central corridors, which is weird to me, but I guess it's got to put it somewhere, and these will be reserved for other stuff like drones and things like that. Alright. That will be fun when we use it. Let's leave. There's another store, of course there is. We're not going there. At least not straight away. This nebula looks like it's recently seen two ships that exchange fire. With mutually assured destructive results, wreckage drifts by your screens and tunnels into the depths of the nebula to be lost to sight. It's hard to determine who uh, who the combatants were without close investigation. Slug crew, ask your slug crew to scan for survivors. Despite the destruction filling the system, your crewman is able to pick up the faint thoughts of a life form in the debris. It looks like they won't last much long without help. Assist the survivor. You bring the survivor aboard, but discover their wounds are severe. They won't live much longer. I can make them comfortable in the five mo uh, final moments. Or use my advanced med, ma med bay and get them to the med bay. Using your upgraded medical bay, you're able to heal the survivor's wounds and they recover quickly. Grateful to be saved, they offer to join your crew and help however they can. We have a new slug called John Peng who's good at shields. Nice. That worked out very well there. All the blue options. Um, You're good at shields. Are you better than Barry? I think you are. Sorry, Barry. You're, you're fired. We've got a better slug for shields now. You, I could put you on weapons or something now, right? Like, what are you good at? A small amount of combat and repairing. It's a good spot for seeing everywhere, but also I should put you on sensors. It, it just makes sense. And I can move you to weapons if I need to. Our crew is getting so ridiculously large so early in the game. We're gonna run out of crew space. What do we? We need to sell people. I don't think you can do that, but I might do that anyway. If, if like, if maybe if there might be slavers, right? Who are like, uh, who turn up like, hey, just sell crew to us, and I'll be like, yeah, you know what? I've got too many of them. Take them, and then I shoot them and get them back or something. I don't know. You gotta, you gotta make the hard. Potentially not moral choices in this game. Yep, 20% faster recharge when manning shields. Fantastic. But your name is not Junpeng. It is... Michad or Mikad. I think it's Mikad. I seem to remember being told it's Mikad. Welcome to the crew, Mikad. We've got quite the crew going here. This is doing really well for me getting through my Patreon list. But yeah, this is the thing. I might have to sell one of my Patreon supporters into slavery. Might be worth it, though. Oh, dear. Um, right. Yeah, we're getting, like, so we've got three rocks, three slugs, and an NG. I like how there's just, I, I mean, it makes sense there's so many slugs, because we're going through uh, slug-controlled space and nebulas and stuff. Which is funny how many slugs we're collecting so far. Oh, and before I go, save new positions. And on we jump, ooh, we'll be one step ahead of the rebel uh, advance. 
There are a number of small stations for travellers in the area, lit up by guiding lights and advertisements. Only slug ships are docked, so you decide it's better to avoid a confrontation and steer clear. Damn it! I'm not allowed to join because I'm not... I'm... Like, half my crew are slugs! Can't I visit because of that? Come on. Alright. Your senses are no match for the slug's telepathic abilities. A ship you never even saw spawns fi uh, even saw opens fire from astern. I've got slugs. I've got as many slugs on my crew as they do. I call BS on this. Uh oh, they got missiles. All right. Um. Right. Should we have some fun? This will be interesting. Yeah, everyone get in positions. Uh, we can activate the mind control right now if we like. Just get them killing each other. Like... Yeah, let's do it. Doop. Oh, I have to pick a room. And they're in separate rooms. Damn. I should, you know what? It works totally fine to mind control one of them. The other two will kill them. And then I jump in and kill the rest. Hell, I should just jump in now and do it. Like, this works out. This is, either way this works. Wait, did it happen? Mind control. Oh, they're slugs! God damn it! <laughs> I forgot. I forgot that slugs are the one thing that can't be mind controlled. Fine. No mind control then. Can't do it. Damn it. I forgot. That's their one other thing. Can't be mind controlled. Damn it. Damn it. Alright, fine. I'm gonna try charging this with battery power to see what happens. Because it's a pretty safe bet that we'll not die here. Go, go, go. I shouldn't have sent him. I should have shot it first. Oh, well. We'll just weather the attacks. That's my thinking. Uh-oh. Ionizing shields. It's the missile. That's all we have to worry about. Their ion can't get through us. We just gotta dodge. We dodged. Nice. Other slugs coming to say hi. We should finish this guy off easily. And... Sorted. But no more life signs. One missile, one drone part. Take one scrap. Nice. And... Bring him home. Get in the med bay. And as soon as you healed up, we'll get on our way again. I was excited about using mind control. I forgot it doesn't work on slugs. Shush. My first time using it. Leave me alone. Doop. And on we go. Now, uh, why? Why are th all the stores? They're all here. Why are they all here? I don't have any money because there was nothing but stores and empty sectors in this part of the map. What are you doing to me, game? What is this? Fine. Let's go to the store. Consciously approach a slug colony on a huge asteroid. It's a brave person who sets foot on a slug planet. It can take weeks to get the mucus out of your clothes. But there's business to be done. I don't know if there is. Oh great, it's got awesome guns that I can't afford. Drone control. Clone bay. Hacking. All these things I want. Shield charge booster. Boosts the ship's shield recharge rate by 15%. A Zoltan shield bypass. Allows crew bomb teleportation and mind control to work through super shields. Cool, but specific. Reconstruct to teleport. Crew gets fully healed by teleportation. Actually, not that amazing, because... If I'm teleporting them there, they're right next to the medbay already. If they're teleporting back, then... The... They don't need to be healed, because they're coming home. Like, it's not that much of a problem. Like, there's very specific situations might, where it might come in play, but I don't think we need it. I'm tempted by the shield charge booster. But we can't afford it unless we sell something. And look at all these cool guns it has that I can't probably buy. I could sell something I have. So we could do this. I will refuel. I will do that. I'm just... See what else I can afford first. Okay. No point so much in the pike beam. We already have a beam... That's good. It's a longer beam, I know, which is nice. Ion blast. Eight seconds to fire. Does one ion damage. Anti-bio beam. Ooh. 
Oh, that might help our borders. 16 seconds, crew damage 60. Doesn't do any hull damage though, I don't know if it's worth it. Like, hitting... Like, hitting a room that enemy crew are in is still gonna hurt them with normal stuff, but you'll also be hurting the ship, which will help in other ways. Starting with it, I would totally do it, but... Buying it now, and I have to sell something else, and I have barely any money left, so I think I'll leave it. I'd like the Ion Blast, that'd be nice. It's only one power, and it's, it's a solid way of dealing with shields, which currently is our main problem, is knocking out shields we only have the Artemis for, unless we get the Breach in, in on it, but that takes a ton of power. I, 60 crew damage is a lot, yes, but I can just go in and punch them myself. Do I need two missiles? I mean... Not necessarily. I forgot one of the missions I'm supposed to do is use uh, missiles only on a ship that has defense drones. Gotta remember to do that if that happens. So I need to keep the other one if, to, to do that mission. Reinstalling the game. <laughs> of course everyone is. I think if you get frustrated with how I play, Go play the game yourself. And then you'll be happy with all the decisions you make. Okay, we're going to sell the repair bomb because I haven't used it yet. Gives us more to work with, but I'm still probably just going to spend it all on just resupplying so we don't die. Alright, let's do that. What have we got left? Uh, we could buy three of the missiles and an ion blast. We still have to do a double whammy of uh, Artemis and Ion Blast to break through a two-shield ship. But it means that we have the option to do it. I, I didn't know if that... I imagine that wasn't particularly what you were doing, Gamma Ray, but it just reminded me that, like, that's a thing. If, if everyone's... For the other people that get more frustrated with what I do, you can go play the game yourself. And you should, because it's super cheap right now. Oh, uh, is it worth it? I don't know if it is. It's a cheap gun, but will it actually come into play? Will it really matter when I can just board them and kill them that way? Anyone starting a run now can get to the Rebel flagship and win before I get there. That's definitely true. <laughs> What do people think? Should I get it or should I just get all the missiles? Hmm. It's thirty to get uh, to get all of those or that, so I could still I get there and blast in some of the missiles, but I should probably just get all of them because I need to do the thing I'm good at. <laughs> All the missiles of the bio-beam? No, I don't want to get the bio-beam! Uh-oh, we're having split uh, opinions here. I'm, I'm leaning more towards just buying the missiles and having done with it. I, the Ion Blast... I'm, the thing is, I'm trying to go for a system where I'm avoiding dealing with shields. At the same time, the hold beam is one of my key weapons. I haven't built this well. I've gone for both a build that doesn't require you to get sh to knock out shields, and a build that requires you to knock out all shields, which is going to become useless later in the game. I can just kill them with borders. This is true. I'm just going to buy the missiles. Let's just have done with it. I might also fix everything up, because we're about to jump to a sector where I think it's more expensive to repair. And I have no money anyway, so if I come across a mission, uh, uh, an encounter that's like, give us money and we'll repair you, I won't be able to afford it, probably. Um, I could get fuel from the other shop, that is true, but I think that'll put me in a dangerous spot. That said, you know what, it's probably worth it. 
I've been struggling with fuel so much recently that I could really just do with getting more fuel and that, just doing the thing. I know I have 16 missiles, but I... They're, they're an important part of my build, and right now I'm... I'm... It's not versatility, Hayden. This is a mistake. It's a terrible mistake I've made. It's good against drones with no shields, but they will also uh, run out over time. I think, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go for this store, and I'm just going to weather the rebels in that in that encounter over there. I think that might be a good strategy. And this will be like, here's what you could have bought. A ship engineer has a small shop here. Oh, look at all these good, good guns. No. No. I want them. Oh, no. Automated reloader, long-range scanners, FTL jammer. Another ion blast just to taunt me. And a flak. Flaks are so good. Because they fire three shots. They're amazing for knocking out shields. And then swarm missiles. What are these? Required power two. Seven seconds. Requires missile. One shot per charge. Max... Oh, you can charge up three missiles using one missile? Normal damage one, shield piercing five, so what? So you can like triple fire missiles with this? Is that what this is? Charge ups can be charged multiple times to generate more firepower. You can save time and fire the weapon prematurely, but we'll have fewer shots ready as a result. But like, so... So he uses one missile to make three missiles if you give it 21 seconds. That said, that is only three damage ultimately. Which isn't actually that amazing. What, I, what does the Artemis do? And then we got a Mantis who's good at running shields. Oh, and a Zoltan that's good at running shields. And another slug, like we need one of those. We can live without an FTL jammer. When that happens, we just go nuclear and start firing all our missiles. I want... Both of these seem really cool. Especially the swarm. That's like my... That might be my build, but better, essentially. Like, let me check the Artemis. Okay, so it's... So, yeah, it's one missile, but it does two damage, so... The swarm missiles aren't actually that good. They're, they'll be good for knocking out a system quickly. You, like, just, you weather the, the combat for 21 seconds and you fire a triple missile and you will be able to knock out two shields with it. But it is, it costs two power. The Artemis just does two damage and fires more frequently, so it's like, it, may, it might, you might be able to overwhelm repair work with the Artemis. It's like, I'm wondering if by selling certain combinations of things I could buy one of these, but I probably actually can't. Like, for 65, what would I need? I would need, uh, one for 46. I don't think I can do that. I'd have to sell two things. And I don't want to sell one thing, so I can't do it. I just have to stare at it and be sad. And yeah, the breach missiles, they use one more power. They take the same amount of time to do four damage with a high breach chance. It's probably... Yeah, if I was to get anything, it would be the flak, and I can't afford it without selling half my other things. Which is so annoying, because it's so amazing. It's three damage, ten, you just knock out shields, just get rid of them, and then the beam comes in. Flak and beam is a brilliant combo. Has the rock plating really ever worked so far? I don't know, but presumably it saved me 15% of the money I would have had to spend on hull repairs. You have to assume they all hit. That is true as well. That is, that's the thing. It's like... I mean, but then, if something's unreliable, it's all unreliable. But to the same degree. They, if they can dodge one thing, they can dodge anything. But I guess if you're firing three separate things, you could dodge one, and then it means it's only as effective as the Artemis would be if it had hit, and... Okay. I can't buy these anyway. I can't do it. I want to somehow, but I can't. Unless I sell a whole bunch of crap. How much is the, uh... The rock plating is actually worth 40 scrap. I mean, I guess maybe it will save me 40 scrap through the entire duration of the game, and it might save my, li my life at certain points in the game. I 
I mean, Archimus can miss as much as the flak can hit. That doesn't come into play. It's like, yeah, the the, the flak will more, will hit with something, but if it's only two hits, then it does the same amount of shield damage as the Artemis would do. But less permanently, because it's just hitting the actual shields where the Artemis hits the system. There's nothing we can do. I don't want to sell my stuff. Like, maybe one day I'll sell the rock plating, but not now. So I'm just going to buy the fuel. And now we're, we've got a safer fuel situation. I'll not buy the missiles, we should be okay for those. We've already got the, the thing that saves us half our missile money, so... We're doing okay there. Alright, um... So... We'll keep our system like that. We might, we might change the setup depending on how things go. Let's do the thing. Let us jump to the exit and we're gonna have a bit of a fight on our hands. Hello, Rebels. You found the exit beacon, but the Rebels got here first. You will survive long enough to be able to jump to the next sector. Okay. What are we dealing with? Oh, that's... Is that a five shot or a three shot? I really hope it's a three. Might be four. There's four little bars. No, I think it's three because it's like those on the side. I don't really know. Either way, I don't like this. Oh, and they've got teleporting bombs. Oh, no. Um. Right. Let's buy ourselves some time. Let's mind control their weapons, guy. <laughs> get them fighting each other. Slow down their fire rate, give us more time to charge our FTL and get the hell out of here. Um, in fact, we'll Artemis their, uh, their weapons room as well, just to weaken their stuff, because I don't like it. There we go, we knocked out the big laser thing, their teleporting bomb's still going. Oh, and there it goes. Uh, two system damage only. There we go, I think that was the rock cruiser doing its thing, it, like, or maybe it was a system damaging bomb, I don't know what they have. Can you get in there, fix that? It's not critically important, but... Okay, uh, now we'll just wait. I think we should be okay to jump out before they teleport the next bomb. And they can't hurt us anymore. Oh, never mind, they're teleporting another one. Ah, oh, same room! Come on, guys! Okay, we're ready to go. I'm not gonna... I was gonna push it and wait for them to just be about to teleport the thing, but I don't know when that's gonna happen. I'm just gonna leave. Okay, rebel-controlled or rock-controlled? Should we go visit our uh, our homeland? It damaged the system, but didn't do hull damage. We're at the same hull damage we were before. It might be a system damaging bomb, though. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go with rock control. This seems fun. Also, is this music too loud? It seems like it might be to me, but I could just have my headset too high. Let's go. The rock people are a powerful and proud race. It is not unheard of to have a peaceful journey through their lands, but don't count on it. Okay, there we go. A non-nebula sector for once. It, it's terrible. I hate it. <laughs> Alright, let's dawdle around at the beginning of the sector till the rebels turn up. As a naturally warlike species with few intergalactic diplomatic ties, the rock people have garnered quite a reputation as fearsome pirates. You stumble across one of their ships and they promptly live up to type. Okay. Right, three rocks. Uh, they've got just all the normal systems. I see missiles, so I'm going to missile their weapon system to help even our odds. But I'm going to prepare for a boarding party. Uh, oh, you know what? I can mind control someone. That'll help. Doop. He'll start blowing up the system. Someone else will come in to fight him, or not. I mean, if they're just going to let him blow it up, then I'm all for that. Uh, let's wait till the Artemis is fired. Boom. Okay, now they're on the move. And uh, now that's happened, we're going to send in our boarding party. Uh, that's going to require some power finagling. Boop. Sorted. Okay. Send crew into the middle of this mess. Wait, is there a breach? No, there isn't. Okay, get in there. Start punching. It's gonna be an interesting one. Yep, his mind control's just finished. This puts us in a slightly risky spot. Uh, oh, that's gonna take forever to, to fix as well. You know what? Get in the helm's room. It's gonna be safer. Then only two of them can fight us. Oh, we took hull damage. Oh, they've kept the missiles operational. That's the only thing they've still got running. Ugh. Get in there and help out. You might as well. In fact, yeah, everyone get in there. Repair party. Get it done quicker. Okay. 
Where are we at? We can teleport them out if we need to. That's all good. Uh, mind control is going to take forever to recharge. Just how that goes. We should win this. We've got the edge in terms of fighting capabilities. I don't think, like, generic enemy NPCs are ever, uh, like, especially good at combat. Oh. Oh, nice! We just, uh, Feather Blade just leveled up to max evasion stuff. That helps us out. Uh, how's everyone doing for health? We've got a, a lot of damage on our crew because of random things hitting their systems, which is a pain. I'm just gonna keep the weapons off for now, we don't need them. Okay, oh nice! Leveled up to maximum combat! Good work, Mark. Team up against this guy, and then the remaining guy's too strong for us. We can't deal with him, so... Oh, the mind control's just fixed as well. We can't use it now. Wait, no! Let's use it now! Yeah, alright. You deal with the weapon system, we'll deal with the helm. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, oxygen system damaged. You guys get over there. I don't like how much hull damage we're taking, but we'll be able to deal with it in a second. Okay, their helm is completely down. Go help punch up their weapon system. Wait, no, they're back! How injured are they? Uh, not at all. Get out of there. Go hide in the oxygen room. Okay, and... Back home you come. Doop. Get in the med bay. Uh, battery's ready to go again, so there you go. I'll sort that out. We weren't fully evading. That was dumb. Alright, I think we can just wait for a second. You guys go repair that. Just keep dealing with the damage they deal. We didn't manage to knock out their mi uh, missile system. Oh, damn it. There we go, we resisted, so it, it is a thing that happens. Right, forget repairing that. Go fix the engine room. More important. Okay, and... Back to there. Oh, oh two damage. Yeah, we're just getting beat up here. Bit by bit, it's a pain. Right, we're recharged. I'm going to fully charge this to make sure it works. Get back in there, beat him up. Oh, they keep... I hate it when they just carry on firing missiles. They're definitely going to lose, but they're going to keep messing up our hull. There we go. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. You should have some materials. Three fuel. Nice. Two missiles. Nice. 60 scrap. Nice. This is good. Right. Bit of a pain, because he just kept hitting us with missiles over and over. How's everyone's repair skills? All over the shop. I've not done a good job of, of really giving people different repair jobs and having it be consistent. Like, out of you two, who's good at it? Cheaper. Okay, you go repair the mind control system. Meanwhile, you heal up, you heal up, you heal up, everyone heal up, everyone's injured. The whole crew except the helmsman. Oh, and Jeepers, okay. It would help if we power it. I'll keep that fully powered. Okay, you guys get out of there, you guys get in there. And then, everyone back to positions. It's a good button, I like that button. Okay, uh, doop doop. I think we're good. Yeah, so we're, we're doing very well now for, for abilities. We've got a, a fully trained pilot. Uh, fully trained combat. One guy who's close to doing that. Uh, our actual shield guy is slowly getting better. Yeah, it's, it's weapons and uh, engines where we're struggling because we've kept switching that around. Daniel's slowly getting there. Half the reason is we never fire the weapons, so we're not training up our weapons guy. Every time we, we get into a fight, we're like, okay, forget weapons, just go and punch him instead. And he's getting very good at that instead. Oh dear. Um, yep, yeah, we're good to go. Ooh, Distress Beacon, let's find out. Also, can I look at the sector map? I keep forgetting to take a closer look at it. I think we're more than halfway through, but also we're definitely not going to manage this in this stream if I want to keep it less than four hours, so... We're probably going to cut it, and I probably should cut it already, considering. But I'm kind of enjoying myself, as apparently is the chat. <laughs> and yeah, the FTL music is indeed awesome, this particular one I'm liking right now. 
Aha, I knew someone would fall into our dastardly trap. It appears this distress beacon was nothing but a decoy for a pirate ambush. Oh, hello. We have a defense drone. Does it need to be a defense drone Mark 1 or Mark 2 for the thing to work? Is it just any kind of defense drone? Because if it is, then forget boarding. We just gotta punch it. Wait, I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. Do this properly. I need to check that I have the mission right. To the wiki. Achievements. Not those achievements, the other kind of achievements. I can't find the... How do you find, like, the individual ship achievements? Uh, I guess I'll look up Rock Cruiser. Rock! Oh, what is chat saying? They might know. I, no, the, it doesn't stop borders, it stops missiles, but we have a mission, we have a special achievement to knock out a ship that using missiles when the ship has d a defense drone system. So I need to check what that is. The rock cruiser achievements, what are they? Okay, defense drones don't do anything. While using the rock cruiser, destroy an enemy ship which has a defense drone deployed using only missiles. Okay, I think that's the... I don't. It doesn't say whether we can board or not. I'm just going to play it safe and just missile them to death. Oh, the, the achievement might have previously been known as Reign of Missiles? But they changed it? This is confusing. Apparently you can actually just board them anyway, so I, this is perfect for me. I can board them, and then missile them, and even though I boarded them, that won't count as using an alternate method to missiles to kill them. So, I can totally still... I, I, I still need to blow them up with missiles, though, so I, I would still have to do that, I guess, so it makes no damn difference, does it? Yeah, I might as well just shoot them with missiles, there's no point boarding them. It won't change anything. Um, right, well, we'll start with their drone control. Switch to breach. Oh, we don't have enough power. I've, I've got extra power in the auction I don't need. There we go. Breach. Uh, also target the drones. We've got to make sure the drones are knocked out. What's the other thing they got? Is that a shield booster or something? A shield overcharger. Okay. Weird. Uh, oh, no. Maybe damaged. Uh, that's fine, actually. Barry, go fix it. Jeeper can help, too. I won't get in there. Team effort. Uh, I think our first missile got knocked out. You know, maybe we need to board in order to knock out their bloomin' missile system. Oh god, are they act- They're building up a super shield! Oh no! Oh, I should have boarded them! Oh crap! Wait, uh, you- get- hmm. Maybe I messed this up. Okay, you healed up. Get in there, see if we can teleport past that shield, but I think we can't. Yeah, they're just knocking them out before we can hit them. I should have just boarded before they made their- wait, the shield's gone. Oh, it hit the shield! Right, okay, that's our way in then. Right, you ready? Okay, doop doop doop. Wait, no, I'm gonna use the battery power for this because I'm pretty sure that works fine. Okay, teleport on board to their drone system. And then mind control their rock in the weapon system so he can wreck stuff in there. Just go all in on this. Uh, and then you guys, I don't know, sit somewhere in the middle of the ship so you're ready to move. Okay, here we go. So first of all, they've got to kill the people. But once that's done, they can hopefully damage the... Oh, they're not going to be able to damage the drone system because this guy's going to keep plumbing... He's going to fight them. Unless I mind control him while he's not in the room. Jump in and do it that way. God, this is a convoluted way of doing this. Hmm. Okay, 
One down. The other guy's recovered now, so he's gonna come and fight us. We don't actually want that, I realise. Damn it. I need this guy to be on my side. Before I kill him, because if I kill him, it's over. And then I didn't win that way. I have to blow it up with missiles, that's the mission. If they damage the system, this doesn't work. But on the wiki, it specifically says you can teleport on board, knock out their drone control, and then blow them up with missiles and you'll win. I don't think you can teleport out of the super shield. Hmm. That's a point. That could be bad. Well, we'll find that out. Should we just kill the guy? Should we just kill him and have it have done with it? I don't. I don't. Uh... Actually, they're, they're they're not doing so hot. Have I messed this up? Open fire! <laughs> okay, knock out their weapon systems, shoot the crap out of their shields. That'll knock out the super shield, allowing us to extract them. That that's the plan. Unless the missiles just miss. That's a thing that could happen, too. Okay. We might have him, actually. We might be okay. Oh god, it's close, though. We got him. Okay, I'm just... Forget it. Forget the mission. Screw that mission. It's a terrible mission. I hate it. We win. You find a weapon system on their ship. With no crew to stop you, you can install it on your own. 23 scrap and breach bomb mark 2. Okay, yeah, I... That, hmm. Hmm. I should have tried to teleport them out. I should have actually just tried using the thing, but I, I'm like, I'm just gonna kill him and uh, this isn't gonna work. Like... I realize how difficult it is to kill a, a ship with a defense drone when you have missiles if you don't do use anything else to help with that. It's actually just a difficult ship for us to deal with anyway. Bloop. I noticed their super shield specifically dropped when we defeated them, even though nothing else changed, so that might be an indication that the super shield does indeed block you teleporting out. Can't you send the boarding party to damage your shields? Well, the problem wasn't the shields. I, I have missiles, they bypass shields. The problem was the drone system. This guy was shooting it. And the super shield was generated by this guy, it was the two drones, so we had to knock them out. But the problem is that if you go in a ship and try and knock out a system, the crew will always come and fight you. Meaning either they kill you or you kill them and no system actually gets disrupted. It's a, a bit of a problem, really. One way to do it would be to board with extra crew just to distract the crew that's fighting you, or you mind control people, so that... It might have worked if you didn't use mind control. Uh I mean, if I'd used mind control at a different time, it might have worked. I won't get back in position. I messed that one up, it's fine. It's an achievement, it's okay. <laughs> and now we have a breach 2. Let me take a look at this. Required power 2, charge time 17 seconds. Requires a missile. Uh, does no damage, high chance of breach. 45 crew damage. And 3 system damage. Okay. Okay, I'm on board. Maybe we forget the whole beam for now. We go for the breach. And this is like better than the breach missiles, right? That uses more power. It does hull damage, is the difference. But we don't care about hull damage. We want to kill the people in the ship. Doesn't matter how much damage we do to the ship. This takes out systems, hurts crew, and breaches the room for two power. And quicker than the breach missile does it. I'm on board. This is good. I like this plan. Hell, we can power everything at once if we want to. We're a little bit short on power to do that, but we can have the whole thing running. This is good. I like this. This is nice. Yeah, I need to upgrade the mind control as well so it's better. But right now I'm trying to build up some capital again in terms of scrap, hence why I haven't been spending any for a while. Okay. Let's move. Oh, no, don't go there. I'll be trapped and never be able to leave. Let's go this way. This is a better plan. 
You come across an asteroid mining colony. They message you immediately saying, Greetings, our supplies of mining explosives have run out ever since the rebels blockaded this system. Do you have any extra explosives? Missile weapon. Often offer to solve their problem by launching a missile. Or I can give them five missiles or 15 missiles. I'm going to use the missile weapon because it's blue and blue is probably better, right? While I appreciate your enthusiasm, we have certain protocols for the use of explosives around our workplace. Launching a military-grade weapon into our minds isn't exactly what I would call union friendly. So the entire point of that option was to be like, what are you doing, you idiot? Or maybe there's like a probability that that actually leads to anything other than, no, you can't do that. I can't give them 15 missiles. I need my missiles. I'll give them the requested five. They thank you for your offer and have their engineers repair some of your ship's hull. Ten hull points repaired. Uh, is that worth it? That's 30... Uh, it's... It's an exactly even trade. Five missiles is worth 30. Ten... Hull repair is also worth 30. So, I guess... We're in the same boat as before. It makes no difference. Alright then. M moving on, I suppose. Huh. Off we go. A Mantis ship here is adorned with rock body parts. Alright, jeez. It would be a gorier display if they had internal organs. But the message is clear enough. This is a hunter of a very specialised kind. I can attack, ignore them, ram the bastards because I have a rock ship or rock crew. Put your rock crew member on the comm. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I mean, putting my rock crew member would be like, they'll try and kill me because they hunt rocks. If I ram them, it's gonna hurt me, but it's also gonna hurt them. Uh, I I want to see what ramming does because what the hell does ramming do when you're in a a rock ship? What does ramming do at all? Ramming doesn't happen in this game. I'm 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 in the first person to reply. Said ram them. I'm gonna ram them. Oh, before oh yeah, before they have a chance, you ram your ship into theirs, causing irreparable damage to their engines. Luckily, your ship's armored hull is hardly dented from the impact. The Mantis ship careens away, and you move into attack. Okay, it didn't hurt me, and it started a fight, which presumably is good. I don't know. Did we knock out their engines? They don't look knocked out, but maybe they are. What is that ion monstrosity? Jesus, it's pointless because the other weapon is a missile that bypasses shields. But sure, I guess we focus on trying to knock out that. There we go, then everyone caught up and literally everyone's like, RAM THEM, RAMMING SPEED, TODAY IS A GOOD DAY TO DIE! Ah, uh, so the worst thing about streaming on YouTube is it still has a 30 second stream delay, unlike Twitch, which has managed to work out how to do a one and a half second delay. Okay, do we send a boarding party or are they gonna board us? They're boarding us with one mantis?! Why?! I'm gonna go kill ya! What are you doing? Hell, I could vent the room this guy's in and go board myself. But let's be smart and just kill him. Alright, uh, do we need to shoot these guys? Oh, they have a missile. Um, this will actually do more system damage than the Artemis would. And it would breach the room. Yeah, this is a fantastic idea. Just breach their, uh... Actually, oh, would it? Oh, it's too late now. I've ordered the, the thing to fire. Oh, no, it's not actually fired yet, so it won't have. But yeah, doing that. Oh, damn it. Fire, vent. But surprisingly little fire so far. Weirdly. Oh. Was that me teleporting? Yeah, that was me teleporting. Boom. Nice hole breach. Oh, we knocked out the ion thing and not the other thing. I wanted to knock out that thing. Okay, Artemis the room as well. You guys get to the med bay. There we go, we've got a nice head start on murdering the guy and their uh, weapons are down. They have no weapons, so we don't even need to uh, to run our... Uh... Oh, they've got a med bay! Ah, oh, crap! I've got to knock that out. He's going to leave the room before I get a chance to, so I can't hit him with this, probably. Well, let's breach the, uh, the med bay. Yeah, I missed that they had one. Should have noticed that. Anyway, we're ready to go. Boop! That'll do it. 
Oh yeah, at some point I have to kill someone while they're on fire on their own ship. Hmm. Could be a difficult one to orchestrate. Oh yeah, mind control! I forgot I have that. I should probably use that right now. Derp. Okay, uh, well let's mind control the mantis. Or maybe the NG? To just weaken the mantis for- I mean, either way they'll fight each other. Yeah, let's just mind control the mantis. Enjoy! Oh, he's blowing- what? Okay, fine. Fine. Just get in there and start killing stuff already. We're just gonna teleport into the whole breach room. I don't care. I can't use the whole beam. They have shields. Okay. I'm just gonna sit in their weapons room. Hi there. There we go, he's finished his mind control just in time for us to beat him up. Sorted, no more life signs. Missile, drone part, 55 scrap. Nice. Good work, crew. Piece of cake. Yeah, keep forgetting mind control. I should be doing that more. Alright. Positions. And let's fix our power distribution because it's all over the shop. There we go. And let's go. You're starting to get a little bit low again. Oh, you find a mercenary for hire at this beacon. Their unique skills can sometimes prove to be useful. Hire the mercenary to delay the rebels. Hire the mercenary to scout the sector. Fight the ship. Ooh. This is actually going to be a really rough fight because Zoltan shields. I realize I, I kind of don't have much to combat that with. It's a problem. It's a real problem because the, the final boss will have a Zoltan shield. Maybe we should just use this guy for practice. But delaying the rebels is nice. I definitely like doing that. It gives me like two more jumps, and I can probably earn. Yeah, like well, it probably was, it probably gives me one more jump. But that one more jump can probably earn me more scrap than I spend doing this. But then I'm spending a jump doing this in the first place. So maybe it's not actually uh, a good deal. Ultimately, I'm not. I don't know. Might try and fight him just to test my metal against a Zoltan shield. So far we have a vote for delay. Let's see if we get anyone else. If it's a consensus for delay, I'll just do that. Oh wait. He has mind control. I don't want to fight this guy. Hull beam. Oh yeah, the hull beam will do damage to those shields. That's a good point. So we do have a way of dealing with those. Uh, but yeah, bearing in mind that they have mind control, I'm going to uh, pay for their services and have them delay the rebels. Fleet delay by two jumps. Okay, yeah, that is good. We can do two jumps. We'll more than earn back what we've spent there, presumably. Sounds like a plan to me. Excellent. Right, where to go next? Like... Fly off this way, like come back this way, do that kind of meandering thing. Yeah, let's let's just keep like constantly as far west as possible. There we go. Everyone's saying delay. Oh, again? Hang on a minute. Will this work a second time? Mercenary hails you. Greetings, friend. We've heard tell of your quest and are here to offer valuable services. Hire the mercenary to delay the rebels. Twelve scrap. Hire the mercenary to scatter the sector. Thirteen scrap. Fight the ship. It, uh, will this stack? Or will this be a waste? I mean, I'm all for it, but I, if it doesn't stack, it will be a complete waste of time. But if it does stack, that's hilarious. <laughs> Build a fleet to fight the rebels. <laughs> yeah, I'm essentially, I'm just employing hundreds of pirate vessels <laughs> to fight back against the rebels. <laughs> Everyone's saying delay. It's cheap as well. Yeah, let's do it. The mercy ship makes its jumps again, shoots a mimic your own, then jumps off in the opposite direction. This should keep the rebels guessing. To minus 12 scrap fleet delayed by two jumps. What is happening? They're not gonna move forever. We'll, we'll just go to every sector. Here we go. 
As a naturally warlike species with few intergalactic diplomatic ties, that's a sentence, the rock people have garnered quite a reputation as fearsome pirates who stumble across one of their ships and they probably love to type. Doop. Okay, I don't know if they can breach our shields. There's a solid chance that they cannot. They've got two rocks on board, they've got no med bay. I'm just gonna board them. This is easy. Like, we'll start with. Uh... Actually, no, I'm gonna keep that there. I'm gonna. Do it like that. There we go. Mind control this dude. I'm just gonna let them fight each other for a minute. Actually, no, it's better to just teleport straight in when that happens, thinking about it. Doop. 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 Do. We'll let you have some air. Feeling generous. Oh, I should have got the guys in the room before I activated the battery. That's a waste. And. Jump. Three rocks on one. I like these odds. Oh, this is a two-shot pulse, okay. No, don't... Yeah, ga shoot that one. Don't gang up on the one that's fully healed. This is stupid. They're not being amazingly smart with their plans here, but it's working out. They're just that good. Oh, and a nice level up. Now that their ship has been emptied of hostiles, you search and eventually you find a prisoner officer to join your crew. A rock called Brian, who's good at piloting, and 27 more scrap. Awesome. Bring you back, heal you up. Oh, we've, we've lost power to everything. Hold on, there we go. We've got so many rocks on this ship. Slabs roof of ship. This ship can so, fit so many goddamn rocks in it. I, I don't even know where to put this guy. He's not good at combat, so... How are Mark and Daniel doing at other things? Like, did Mark's getting vaguely decent. Uh, oh no, he, he doesn't do engines anymore. It's like, okay, you are now the, the, the weapons rock. These guys are now dedicated boarders. They live in the boarding room. This is the plan now. Totally works. Okay. And yeah, now we've... We've got a, like a backup boarding party of all those souls we can send up in another two rocks. I like this plan. Save. Oh, also... We... Wrong button. Also, we need to name this new crew member. They shall not be Brian. They shall be... Luan. Sorted, and we have a full crew of eight. We're barely halfway through the game, we have a full crew of eight people now. How many times have I beaten the boss? I have no idea, many times. Lots. Alright, uh, yeah, this is working out fantastically so far. Wait, no, I need that. There we go. Power to engines. We're almost to the point where I'm actually going to start buying, uh... Anything again for upgrades to my ship. Doop, you arrive in the system to see a pirate ship pursuing a civilian ship. You detect messages from the civilian ship on a distress frequency. Aid the civilian ship. You power up your weapons and engage the pirate ship. So it's a a pirate mantis ship crewed by a human and a Zoltan. I guess they killed the mantis crew. Wow. And um and have made it into a pirate ship. They've got a clone bay. Ugh. I guess we'll shoot it then. Um, I guess uh, we'll just Artemis it. It's quicker. I don't think a breach will make a difference here. And that's all we need to do. Uh, they've got an ion weapon and a beam weapon, and I don't think they can breach our shields with the ion weapon, so I think we've got all the time in the world here. Yep, that is fully knocked out, which means we are absolutely ready to go in there and wreck face. Uh, also, we should mind control somebody, because we can. Doop. Power up all the systems. No, not power it. Yeah, do that. There we go. Actually, that power is needed for the shields when they come back. Have you seen the build-in progress version of the boss? I have once! I think that happened on stream and I had no idea it was a thing and then it just happened suddenly on stream and was amazing. I, I seem to remember that. I'm not sure, but I think that happened. Um, okay, yeah, so mind control... Uh, the Zoltan? Should we go for? Yeah. He'll keep the human busy. We can just teleport in somewhere and wreck a system for the fun of it. Weapons, maybe. Uh, teleport. 
weapons room. Oh, it, it, the Zoltan's just gonna go blow up the shield system. Sure, fine, we can kill this guy. Oh, we took damage! Oh, that's one of the super powerful beams that can get through hull. Boss. Okay, uh... Jeeper, go repair the teleport system. We do actually have to worry. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Everyone on the ship is currently on our side. I'm just going to sit sit here and knock out the weapon system. If the Zoltan's not going to come fight us, then might as well. He's just sitting there repairing the shields. Oh, we didn't manage to fully knock it out. Oh, but they have shut it all down. Nice. We'll kill the guy, he'll blow up and do a small amount of damage, we should be fine. And there we go. No more life signs detected on the pirate ship, you hasten to contact the civilian ship. One missile, one drone, and 66 scrap, then we contact the civilian ship. Three fuel, one drone, 27 scrap, nice. Seems the crew did not survive the assault, you take what you can from the remains of the ship. Whoops, okay, not so nice, but we've got scrap still. Worked out well for us. Okay. And doop, doop. Oh, we can't bring you back. Hang on, there's someone in the room. I don't know what happens if I try and teleport them back with someone in the room. I don't want to find out. Doop. Get in the med bay. You can help repair it. Why not? Uh, anyone else injured? Nope, everyone is good. Off you all go. Uh, yep, everyone's... Where they should be. And now we have 80 points to spend. Is there a store nearby? No. Okay. Ooh, we could upgrade the mind control. That would be nice. But I'm also on board for getting a shield upgrade finally to three, because we're suffering a few times where if we'd had three shields, we couldn't be harmed, but we end up getting harmed because we don't. Let's boost the mind control, because it'll be hilarious. I'll get an extra point of power. 25 left, but I'm going to hold on to that. Save it for later. There, I can now have the, uh... I can now have shields, engines, weapons, and oxygen again. I'm so generous to my crew. Okay, uh... I've got to try and work out this plan. So, like, there, 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 there. This works. I might want to go, like, this and then this and that. No. Doesn't work. I don't want to go there to there because if the rebels will be there by the time. So, I kind of want to faff around here. Meander over this way. But I've got to go a certain way about it. I've got to go, like, this. This is if I get the numbers right. What if, I get, if I get this wrong, I'm very buggered. But I think I might have all the time in the world to go to every node in this sector that I haven't already lost the opportunity to. I'm going to go this way. And the snacking fleet delay worked? Awesome. You receive a message meant to degrade you as aliens. You half expect an attack, but it seems to have come from a small civilian shuttle. That, that's it. Okay, some some guy just basically put the middle finger up, up, at me. Oh, they're now moving fast. Maybe I don't have the whole sector to explore. Let's go this way. Are you sure it worked? I don't know if that was actually like four jumps. They were delayed. It might have been three, because we went to one and then we went to another and stacked it that way. You exit the jump surrounded by dirt and rocks. Before long, a blast is deflected by your shield, but that was no asteroid. Incoming pirates! Here we go. Oh, they've got cloaking. Ugh. Ugh I hate it. Alright. Fine. What else you got? No, nothing else of interest. Alright, there you are. Okay, what are we dealing with? We got three rocks. No med bay. We can just jump on board and start punching. This will work fine. Oh, they do have a, uh, missile. I'm just gonna pile in. I think we're just, I like doing that strategy. Doop. Power it all up. Maximum power. Mind control you. Teleport you. 
Just wreck that room. Just annihilate it. This seems like a good plan. And now it's three rocks versus two. And our three are better than their two. Oh god, yeah, the asteroids wreck our shields. I forget about that. Uh, you know what? We don't need oxygen. More dodging. It's important. Well, we... Okay, they missed us. Good. We've killed those guys just in time for this guy to snap out of it. Now we can kill him. Hopefully before the next missile. Oh, we took something there. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. You stripped of useful materials. One fuel, one missile. 59 scrap. I like it. Okay. Um, you guys get the hell back here. What did we take a hit to? Uh, our oxygen system. Luckily, it's got a bit of extra durability to it. But let's do that. There we go. Into the med bay. I'm going to power down weapons for a minute so we can keep dodging maxed. And Jeeper can go repair that. Slowly getting there with repair skill. No one's fantastic, but... We can manage. Really starting to feel it like a reactor upgrades. I like playing it this way. Like, I could just dump a bunch of points into it. But I like having to do, like, power management and shifting things around. It's, it's fun. And it's an interesting challenge. To work out what, what will and won't work. Uh, we can't do any upgrades here because asteroids are flying everywhere. Right, we're going to keep skirting the edge of, uh, of the rebels here. A rookie rock cargo ship has taken its orders too literally and took the most direct route to their destination. Right, to an asteroid field. They're confused and fire, fire wildly as you jump in. Rocks? What? Like, we're trying to do our thing here. And every time people find... Like, every time other rocks find us, they're like, Aliens, shoot them! The worst. Oh, I didn't put these guys back in the boarding room. Um, they have a missile again, okay. We'll do the same thing as before, literally the exact same thing. Don't need oxygen. Mind control. Teleport. And we might be able to actually knock out the system. Ah, oh, we didn't manage to do any damage to it before they got here. Okay, just try and kill them quickly and hope the missiles keep missing. Here one comes. Oh, damn it, the teleporter. And that was quite significant damage, too. Alright, you guys get over there. Here yeah, they got these guys dealt with. Uh, Mark's struggling a bit, but he's gonna come through. Oh, damn it, the, the charge thing just. I think that was already run out, though. Okay, fine. Uh, with the crew dead, you were able to take the fuel out of storage. You also take all the scrap you can manage. Five fuel. Few. I was getting a little bit low. That's nice. And 65 scrap. Awesome. Alright. You guys get back here with... Wait, no. Uh-oh. There we go, it's fine. I don't know what happens if you teleport the back into an occupied room and I don't want to find out. You guys get to healing. There we go. And you repair that. Uh, power down weapons. Get some oxygen repair healing going. We should be fine here. Again, we can't spend our stuff because we're an asteroid field. We've got 300 scrap right now. And yeah, I will have to wrap up um, definitely by the end of this sector, if not sooner. Alright, everyone, back to your positions. Everything's good to go. Let's get out of here. Stores! Awesome. I kind of want to go to both, but we only have so much time. Like, one, two, three, four, five, and then actually six. One, two, three, four. Oh, we could do that. We could totally go to all the stores. Shopping trip! Uh, where to start? We do that, that, that. Hmm... No, there, there, and then faff around here and then jump up to there. I feel like I can't make good use of my time here. I feel like I'm going to end up falling afoul of the rebels or leaving too soon. Uh... 
It's hard to say exactly how many jumps we have left as well, it's kind of hard to tell. And we might come across even more pirate ships that we can use to distract them, considering how things are going right now. We've got more than enough time to go to both of these stores. But the way that this front is working, it's probably going to end up that there's like a jump where... Like there's a, a jump gap between these of these guys that means we waste time no matter what we do. Hmm. All right, let's go to the store. This one over here. You receive a hail on Federation frequencies. Your Federation? We we weren't sure we'd ever see a friendly face again. There's little business here. Perhaps you'd like to trade. Shield charge booster. Battery charger. But backup battery lock time is halved. Neat. Don't know if I need it. A reverse ion field protects your ship from ion damage, giving a 50% chance to negate it entirely. Uh, we have an ion stunner, pike beam, and ch ion charger. Ion charger would be a good way to wreck shields relatively cheaply, but I think we can. I think we're just going to not bother ever dealing with shields, as it stands. I realise that the, the main purpose of this whole beam now really is to deal with um, Zoltan shields. So yeah, I might just buy supplies here and nothing else. I mean, we have another store, so we'll be fine. Still Breach Mark 1? Do you mean the Breach Missiles? I have a Breach Bomb Mark 2 that I definitely don't want to get rid of because it's awesome. Maybe the breach missiles. An ion stunner. And it, yeah, it stuns the crew in the room for five seconds, which is... That is useful, actually. It's only in the shield room, though, most likely, because I'll never manage to breach the shields and, and use it on any other room. I know I'm, I'm gonna fix the ship. There you go. It's fine. I, got, I know what I'm doing. And all the fuel as well, and we'll restock on missiles. I don't think I want any of these. The battery charger is tempting, especially considering my, my playstyle. I don't know what the charge time of the thing is, though. Can I check? Um, 30 second power boost, but what's the, what's the cooldown? I don't know what the cooldown is. And it doesn't say... Doesn't say. I also point the teleporting bombs are going to go straight past the shields. Hmm. And you will... And, and, or straight past the defense drones, even. I'm getting tired now. Yeah, we've we got to wrap up soon. We've got 18 minutes tops as it stands. I don't know if I'm going to even make it to the end of the sector. I mean, if I want to sell the breach, I'll sell it at the next store. I don't need to yet. Oh, there, there's the store. I know upgrading the react. You, um, I have very explained. I like playing. I, I like playing it this way. This is fun to me. I enjoy this. It's uh, d stop. I like doing the low reactor powered strategy. Having enough power to run every system all the time is dumb. Doesn't make sense. It's a waste of money. Because you don't need all your systems at the same time. 90% of the time. 99% of the time. You don't need mind control and teleporting and like two bars of oxygen and full healing all at the same time. While also firing and dodging and using shields. It doesn't happen. Cooldown on the battery is 60 seconds. Oof. So I can halve that to 60. Maybe that's good. Maybe that's nice. Shield charge booster is also good. Boost the ship's shield recharge rate by 15%. It's a very just good all round one to have. Just surviving being shot at a lot better. The thing is that now, like, this is our... 
our third slot, we have to, uh... Here's a thought. If I swapped out rock plating for the shield recharger, would that be like this? Because they're both 15%, but it's a different kind of thing. Rock plating negates 50% of hits to the hull. Shielding is going to give 50% more... Uh, it's not the same, though, because it's like, sometimes it won't matter how quick your shield recharges. Hmm. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to keep a bunch of scrap for the second store, but I can already buy whatever I want from this store without struggling. I have so much money, look at it! I have 234! Battery charger. I want it. I need it. I don't know if I actually do. But generally, I usually use the battery to power up these things, and then I need to wait for these to be ready again anyway. Hang on, what, do I know the recharge times for the other things? Uh, okay, the crew teleport is 10 second cooldown. I don't know about the mind control, it doesn't say. I wish it was more consistent in explaining what the cooldowns were. No one's saying whether I, or not I should get the battery charger, which presumably means that people think I shouldn't get the battery charger. No one's saying anything now, okay. <laughs> Ponomi wants to not get it because I already have two ship systems and I don't like having that filled because then you lose them. You don't get... if you pick up another one it just disappears. You swap it out for something and you just lose one. Don't... Don't talk about selling it and buying it, because I don't know... Batteries like reactors, so I say get it. No, oh dear. Everyone's very, very torn on this. This is a, this is a divisive one. You need to... I need to get the Zoltan Bypass? I am... Um... Yeah, I should have bought that back when it was a thing, thinking about it. Because that's kind of a weakness of my... my system. Okay, I'll get the battery charger. <laughs> there we go. It's got to the point where everyone's like, just buy the thing and leave. Okay, fine. Fine, I'll just do that. This is how we play the game. Shush. Leave me alone. Next door. More shopping. You cross paths with the rock ship returning from a rare diplomatic mission. Equally surprising, the capture of Sponsia hails and agrees to a mutual trade. More fuel, more missiles. Drone control, cloaking, hacking. Uh, crew, but I can't literally buy any more. The shame, there's a guy who's really good at weapons there. And a guy that's good at repairing. Well, I've got an NG. I don't need that. Yeah, this is all they've got. Yeah, drone control, cloaking, and hacking. Should I get hacking? I might get... This might be time to get hacking. I'm feeling like not going with cloaking. Then again, cloaking is a good idea when you're boarding. Because you board, then you cloak. And then they can't shoot you, and you're busy killing them. It's a good combo. Hacking locks a room, though. You can lock the room you're in fighting people, and that helps you to kill better. They're both effective, but hacking's cheaper. What do we think? Cloaking or hacking? I'm, I'm coming away with one of those. I've decided this. Also, I'm going to buy all the people. Because I need it. And should we sell the breach? I should probably sell the breach. This is just better. It's just more effective. Only thing this misses out on is doing hull damage, and we don't want to do hull damage. That's not our game anymore. <laughs> Why not both? I don't know if I'm allowed both. I, there's only a certain number of slots I can have selling that. I might sell the rock plating, because I like having an extra slot so that if I find something, then I can... Like, in a mission, I don't end up just losing out on, uh, like, probably 40 scrap. 40 scrap's a lot. And also, it's already served a lot of its purpose. I've got only a few...
few places left, and if it's a 15% chance to negate hull damage... I need to save 40 scrap with it, which means I need to take... 240 scraps worth of damage, which I'd not, I'm not gonna do! Yeah, I should sell the rock plating! It's no longer economically viable. For the rest of the game, presumably. Yeah, I'm gonna sell the rock plating. I'm doing it. Because it's just... Yeah, I can take that whole damage and repair it, and that will be cheaper. Ultimately. I'm pretty sure. If I've got the numbers right, I might not have. Right? Because it's 40, it's like taking 8 hits. You need to take a hell of a lot more. I don't... Okay, maybe I could still take enough hits. I'll see what you guys think. In the meantime, let's see what people have said about cloaking. Okay. Cloaking. Hacking. Cloaking. Cloaking. Both. Oh, no, so you're saying can't get both. Hacking, hacking, hacking. Both. Hacking, hack. Everyone's saying hacking. We're going hacking. There were some people with cloaking, but there's more people saying hacking. We're, hack We're gonna go with that. Doop. This is your ship's final system slot. Are you sure? Yes. So yeah, we can't take cloaking now. Awesome. Also, thank you very much, Blue Whale, for that, uh, or Blue Whale 73 for that one dollar super chat. There go the coins. Oh, one of them made, one of them got out of the cup. Oh no. But thank you very much, Blue Whale 73. Very much appreciated. Very awesome of you. <laughs> yeah, everyone's saying sell the play. I, I, I thought so. I think ultimately, I probably. It probably won't save me its value anymore at this stage. And it leaves a slot open in case something else turns up and I have now more scrap. So I've just gone on two shopping tri trips and I still have 171 scrap on me. Okay, they're getting closer. One, two, three, four, five. We might have ages left yet. Like five or six jumps. But the problem is that they're going to get to where we're faffing around before we can, uh... Mm. Yeah, I'm going to go this way. Yeah, it's only a 15% chance to resist hull damage, so I'm thinking that the amount of hull damage it would prevent, I will not take enough to be worth the 40 that it I can get by selling that thing. You arrive and detect signs of battle. A few ships are taking passes at each other near a small station. You don't know if it's a ter territory issue, a contest, or a rite of passage, but you decide it's best to stay out of it. Oh, okay. I, I, honestly, I would rather be in it. That sounds more fun, but the game decided for me. This way. Hacking requires drone parts. That's a point I should have bought some. Whoops. With the high resistance to heat, outlaw rocks often settle very close to stars. This is why it's hardly surprising when your ship gets boarded and you stumble past a hidden... As you stumble past a hidden settlement, intruders on board. Two rocks, and they arrived in the teleport thing, so I'm just gonna fight them here, like, why not? We'll win. Oh, the only issue is, um... Solar flares. So that could be interesting. I'm gonna hold on. We kill them before the flare. Okay, time to go. We're jumping. We're jumping with the boarders on board. I'm doing it. This is this is a fun thing that happens in the game sometimes when the effects of one encounter bleed into the next one. A motley collection of rock ships are stationed around this beacon. They look to have resorted to a pirate's life. Defensive maneuvers. Okay, I finished killing these guys. Uh, then heal up and then go kill the, the guys in there. Right, get in there. Um. Turn off the whole beam, I don't need it. Heal up. Super quick, please. And we'll wait, because it's better. Um, also, I've got seven minutes left before i got to cut this stream. Uh-oh. Uh, you help him out, because we have no helm, and that means no evasion. We need evasion. Evasion is important. Why are the shields not... Oh, because they hit the shields. How did they... Is this a... Is this four shots? Uh-oh. You guys, get in there. That's done. Oh, that's painful. Yeah, they're causing us some trouble here. So... Hang on, I've got to dump this power into other things for a second. 
Yeah, do, do that, and then use the battery. Then I can dump the spare power into these. Mind control you. Teleport in. And then I might hack the room as well. Like, that'd be fun. Should we do it? It costs a drone part, that's a problem. And I don't think... No, we don't need it. We don't need a drone part to do this. Then again, they're shooting the crap out of us and it's causing us some real trouble. Yeah, let's wait till just before they fire. Actually, it takes time. I'm gonna do it. Uh, two of them are in here. That's gonna be fun. Hack it! Boom! Um, pick in the disruption ability. Cancel their weapon charge. Then we're all gonna take some damage, which seems like a good trade. He did manage to fire again, though. Oh, God, pain. Uh, not too bad, actually. We're holding up. You get back over there. Just be ready to fix the shields, because they're important. Uh, just gotta get this one last guy. That takes too long to recharge. Come on. Oh, we took another hit, but we've killed him. No more life signs remaining. One fuel, two missiles, 67 scrap. Awesome. Continue. Get the crew back on board. We're running out of time. We're now racing the clock here. Oh, the medbay's still fully... I messed up the power charge on everything here. It's all over the place. Heal. Come on. Get it done. Everyone to your stations. Uh, power this down, power that up, power this down and this down, put that back on, jump. We're not going to fix stuff up, we're just going to go to the next place. Go! Teleport the mind control person to my ship. I mean, that is an interesting thing I, I might try at some point. It's just like stealing people. I don't know how that works, though. You ride a long-range beacon. When the FTL drive is ready, you can jump to the next sector. You pick up an automated message from a nearby space station. There appears to be a local shipwright that can perform emergency work on military ships. Inquire about their specialty. They offer to upgrade your door subsystem in exchange for some scrap. Agree to the exchange? Is that a good deal? I don't know if that's a good deal and I can't check. God damn it! <laughs> Presumably it's a good deal, because that's the final upgrade you can get. I'm gonna... I'm gonna agree to it. Fine. Agree to the exchange. Minus 40 scrap, maybe that wasn't a good deal. Upgrade the doors by one, you let the team on, on board and after a short time they finish the work. Continue, and we're ready to go, and that is what I'm going to end the stream for today. <laughs> Nailed it. In fact, we're, we're actually, we're doing pretty well for time, honestly, now. First door upgrade is 35. Oh yes, yeah, so it was probably 50, uh, 50 to do the final upgrade. We can't check now, because it doesn't show the number anymore. Alright, we are doing pretty well. It, we, it was a bit ropey for the first, like, sector or so, and then things have just been coming up roses since then. We've been doing pretty well, we got money to spare, I can buy something right now if I want to. I don't know what to get though, really. Maybe more engines or something. I don't know, but we've got three minutes before I need to end the stream. Oh yeah, some, a lot of my crew are injured. <laughs> Didn't notice. I'm a terrible captain. Uh, you and you... And you, all the slugs. And then Featherblade needs it too. Oh, and I should probably put power in the med bay, that would help. Return to stations. Featherblade as well. Yeah, I think engines. Doop. We, we can't maintain it unless we have the, um, the oxygen shut down, but that's just how I like to play this game. <laughs> We, I mean, half the time we don't even need our weapons running. I could probably turn these off. I haven't been using them a lot of the time. Uh, but that is all we have time for today. Uh, so I... Can I save and quit from here? Yes, I can. So yeah, we've not... Oh, there's the where it shows the missions. But yeah, we failed to do any of these so far. I don't think we're going to achieve any of them. Oh, that was a straight-up quit. Damn it! <laughs> I didn't want it to actually... I, th I thought it was going to go to the menu! We'll set it back up so we have some musical accompaniment for the uh, ending of the stream. But uh, I've got to finish it up. Uh, stuff that's coming soon. Uh, there may be... Uh, there should be another stream on uh, Thursday. That's the plan at the same time as this one was. And it should be the another FTL stream. Or it might be something else if there's some other game stuff that happens that's interesting. But it's probably going to be more FTL. Uh, there'll probably be something as usual at 2pm on Saturday. Um, the reason there wasn't uh, last Saturday was because there was... 
like, I ended up being late, and so it was only going to be like a 40 minute thing, so I just decided to record it. Then it ended up being an hour and a half thing. So there's going to be an hour and a half of uh, me playing Minecraft on uh, Gaming FTL's community Minecraft server being uploaded at some point in the future, as well as more satisfactory, more Vulcanoids, and all that good stuff. I think that's everything. Thank you, ev uh, everyone, very much for watching. Thank you for uh, being patrons, and of course, this was brought to you by patrons. They voted for FTL to be the game that I streamed, and, they, and also their names that were used for the. Uh, for the crew. I do have a Patreon link in the description if you're interested in getting on some of those rewards, which I'm now catching up on delivering after failing to for a while. Um, but yes, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for being patrons. Thank you for being YouTube members. Thank you for super chats and all that good stuff. And of course, thank you just for being here because that in itself is important as well. Views are important. YouTube cares about them. If you get no views, YouTube throws you in the gutter. It doesn't matter anymore. Um, but yeah, the views have been good for this, so maybe there'll be more FTL just generally because it's gone pretty well. Um, yeah, that's all the important stuff. Also, roll for it on Sundays. There's a new show. It's Shadowrun. Shadowrun Season 3. Roll for it, Shadowrun Season 3. It's happening, guys. For those who know, you're going to be very hyped. we got to end it here because I have literally 10 seconds left on the stream. So just say goodbye. Thank you for watching. I shall see you next time.